ba, 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 ba. can I hear this music? I'm so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so, it's just me and you. Just uh, grooving. Just grooving, grooving <laughs> by ourselves. <laughs> Da, 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 they da, now, da, da, can hear now they can hear it. <laughs> they just saw us. Uh, just grooving to nothing. Just acting, <laughs> acting like psychopaths. Perfect. What a way to start a stream. Well, welcome. Welcome. Welcome to Tom and Ben on the wrong day. That's right. No, we always stream on Thursdays. That's, that's, that's the meme, right? That's how it goes. Since, um, since when do you stream on Thursdays? Uh, well, today. Today is when we stream on Thursday. That's uh, true. Staticky. Oh, you are. So sparkly. That's okay. Oh, like a, like a vampire. Yeah. Sure. Uh, so welcome. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Um, but today, we're playing Yu-Gi-Oh. We are. We're playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Thank you to Konami for sponsoring the stream. We're going to play Yu-Gi-Oh, Rush Duel, Dawn of the Battle Royale. Oh, whoa. That's a lot of that's a lot of subtitles. Whoa. I'm excited. I've never played a Battle Royale card game. Me neither. That'd be madness, wouldn't it? Can you imagine that? 100 player elimination. Going around hunting people down. Yeah. Um, well, that's kind of kind of a bit of the story of this, right? Yeah. We uh, are going to be running around like just ju 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 dueling people. Dueling everyone because mm -hmm. we want to be we want to be the best the best rush duelist. To yeah. be uh, win the championship. Win the championship. Just be the best. Be the deck master. That's the um oh man. We're gonna have to master many decks yeah. before we can be called the deck master. How I've, many um how many decks have you mastered so far? Um I've mastered my own deck. Okay. I've not yet to master anyone else's deck. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, well yeah, do you wanna get the screen up Let's and do it. we can uh, um, just jump on in. Wow. Do, 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 do. Now, I've never played a Yu-Gi-Oh before, nor watched one. Really? I'm, an, I'm a Yu-Gi noob, um, I believe they're called in the, on the circuit. Oh. Uh, a noobio. <laughs> a noobio. I y used to watch Yu-Gi-Oh when I was a kid. Ooh. When I was a child. I think maybe, I think literally like 20 years ago. Wow. Um, it's super popular, though. I remember I once went to um, like a big war games tournament. At a board, at a, um, the UK board game expo, and they had this whole hall um, for tournaments, and then like my Armada tournament was like shoved in the corner. <laughs> Just the and old man, like you have to go down some stairs <laughs> into a basement. Yeah. There's like a flickering there's, like, light. All the epic players and Armada players. Okay. Fuck off. Wow. And then the rest, like the other, I'd say about half of this hall was Yu-Gi-Oh tournament, wow. and the other half was other card games. Um, it was massive. I couldn't. I was amazed it was still big because, like, I was vaguely aware of Yu-Gi-Oh being a thing 20 years ago. I didn't realize it was still super yeah, popular. Yeah, still going. Yeah, it's still a thing. It's a big thing. Yeah, all the time you see it in um, card card stores. Let's uh, get in. Yeah. So uh, you've been uh, you've been playing a bit of this. Um, yeah, I played it this morning. I did the tutorial. Who are you? Um, ben, new high school exchange student. Wow. Who has. Um, passionate spirit for the cards. You are feeling the spirit of the cards. I love that. Um, that's this, right? Mm -hmm. Feel the heart of the cards? Uh, yeah. Uh, can I turn it down a little bit for me, TJ? So I've done the, the this is me, this is my boy. Um, these are my new, they, so the, the, the plot is these guys have welcomed me to the high school, right? And they've been like- That's you, Yuga. You guys don't even know how to, uh, they all knew I didn't know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh. So um, I battled her a couple of times. She told me about trap cards. And then I battled her. She told me about dragons. And now they think I'm ready and I don't need to be handheld anymore. I'm ready to join in the battle royale. Okay, so do you get to like just choose someone to like take out? That little kid over to the left. <laughs> this one? Yeah. Should we just pound him? Yeah, yeah, that kid. Yeah, you. You've Let's wipe that grin off his face, right? Yeah. <gasps> She's got a thing. She's got one of the arm things. Oh, a dual deck. Oh, man. Maybe we can buy one later. Uh, I, I, I wanted to see if they'd get us dual decks I for us to do this stream. <laughs> I really wanted one. Um, and because it'd be really cool. So we're playing this on the Nintendo Switch. And if you could have the Switch, because you can do it all oh, touch screen. Oh, you could. You can touch screen it. You could literally. And because the game has local multiplayer. 
Oh or, my god. Um, so you can Bluetooth connect or however the switch connects. Wi Fi probably. And yeah. Big Stood doing that. How Oh my god, that would cool be amazing. Would that be? Oh, I wish we could have done that. I don't know if they make them anymore. I remember Harry looked on eBay to see if he could find some. I think this was the problem that for us to buy some they were they were like three or four hundred pounds each. Um That's a bit much, isn't it? Bit much. But I'd be really, I'd be really into it. <laughs> right, Kyle, he's built his first ever deck. Hey, I just built my first ever deck. Well, he's further ahead than we are. We're still using a starter deck. We haven't oh, built OK. Well, you know, everyone starts somewhere. Got to start somewhere. We're starting with destroying Kyle. Although, is this the trick? He's like, oh, I just built my first ever deck. But I have played, you know, 100,000 games <laughs> with all the, with all the pre mates Yeah. <laughs> is, is he card sharking us? So actually, he's, he's like a savant. <laughs> Um, he's put all his favorite insects into it. Okay. Let's do. I'm ready to duel. Boom. Bam. God, look at my eyes. Oh, Perfectly so you round use... So do you want to play with uh, the wizard deck or the dragon deck? Ooh. Bearing in mind, I have played with the wizard deck. I have not played with the dragon deck yet. Okay, like. Let's go with let's go with wizards to begin with because well, wizards. I feel like there's gonna be some tricks. Mm-hmm. Uh, some traps. Some traps. You know. Uh, which sounds a lot of fun. And so we've got to kill all of this guy's insects. Mm. I are, like... are insects big in the meta right now? Is that what the tournament champions are using, insect decks? I'm not sure. If you were to uh, fight insects... <gasps> oh, um, always pick rock. Rock always, never fails. Rock, rock always wins. Mm -hmm. Everyone knows that. Ooh. Oh, he did the one thing that beats rock! Man, they need to balance oh. rock, paper, scissors, because... Paper super OP. Like scissors paper is, is fine. OP. Rock is fine, <laughs> but paper paper's broken. Okay, uh, when are they gonna take paper out of the game? What okay. the hell? Um Right, so um should right. I explain how to play? Talk us time? talk us through the game. So I, I know a little bit about um sort of rush mode. Okay, so we've uh, got um three types of cards. We've got um like creature cards. <gasps> we've got this guy, Firewolf. That's a beast wolf thing. He's he's good good at attack, bad on defense. Um you've got trap cards. Amazing. Like this, where everything just dies. Dark Revelation. Um, this is an amazing card. Yeah, wow. Right? So um, they declare an attack. I get to put four dead wizards back into my deck and then destroy all their attacking monsters. Ooh. So there's there's quite a lot of kind of deck management in this mode because mm -hmm. um, it's quite fast paced. You can play down a lot of cards. And so anything that is bringing uh, things back into your deck seems very strong. Yeah, so I'm going to, and I've got this one. This is, destroys one of their spells. Pretty good. Oh, nice. Um, this guy is badass. He's got 2,000 attack. And so the magical swordsman. He looks amazing. Uh, but he's a level 6 creature. Okay. Which means I have to ditch some creatures that are in play in order to play him. Right. Okay. So we're not going to see him for a little while. Yeah. Um, and then we've got um, this guy, the dark swordsman. Who's, um, Hello. Pretty good. Pretty good. So if we stick down um, the beast, the, the fire dog... Then um, we sacrifice the, um, the fire dog to bring in the magical swordsman. Okay. It's fire dog rubbish. Get rid of him. Oh. Ciao. Okay, and then we'll also. What's the um the fluff text on the dark sorcerer? Sorry. Uh, Can we yeah, see yeah, yeah, yeah. A sorcerer whose hands have been tainted by the forbidden arts. He does not yet know the price for the power oh, you desire. Oh, fish hands. No, it's fish hands. It, uh, it's, he's slowly, he's going to start getting itchy hands, mm -hmm. and he's going to be like, oh, my skin is so dry and scaly. <laughs> oh, no. And just over the course of a couple of weeks, fish it, hands. his fingers are going to, like, fuse together. And turn into fish. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a little tail's going to sprout out. <laughs> he's going to be all right with it, though. Okay. It's fine. Uh, so bring him in, too. Um, bring him in an attack mode. So yeah, this is like you said. This is the dual version of the game, which I don't know how to play. I I don't know how to play regular Yu-Gi-Oh. Right. I don't know how different this is from regular, but apparently it's quicker, um, and like streamlined. Yeah. So um, you can play uh, any creatures apart from I think it's level five and six creatures without paying any cost. This mm -hmm. is a very very fast mode. Um, um, there's only room for three creatures of three spells as well. Yeah. So normally um, you would have five. Um, uh, and so. It's a lot more, a lot faster paced. Uh, kind of quite a different style of style of game. Okay. Uh, well, I'm into fast paced. Yeah. I don't want to be sat here for half an hour du 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 dueling. I want to crush Kyle and move on to the next. Yeah. 
All right, Carl. Who's his ace monster? Yeah. Uh, <gasps> let's see the details. Oh! Like King Beetle. Oh, I kind of want a bug deck now. Oh, man, he's cool. Send the top card of your deck to the graveyard. Um, but then one face-up monster in your field gets attack equal to the number of monsters in your graveyard times 100. Wow. So late game, this guy could be very strong. Really good. Um, okay. I don't think we need to worry about him too much right now. because You can destroy our Dark Sorcerer. Oh. Darkness approaches. What's this? Uh, send two cards in your hand to your graveyard, making the other guy stronger. Mm -hmm. And then change one face-up monster on either side to a face-down defense position. So you can force us into defense mode. So um, when you're in defense mode, you use your defense stat instead of your attack stat. So he's just sent our... Uh, this guy... Oh, hang on. Our 2,000 attack guy is now a 500 defense guy. Ooh, That's real bad. Dark Sorcerer. I did not care for that. That's a bad time. Um, so how are you going to counter this? I don't know, because look, our Dark Sorcerer isn't strong enough to fight his beetle. Oh, no. And we didn't really get... Oh, we got this. Oh, no, this will save us. Um, well, wait, we can bring out another Dark Swordsman. A Magic Swordsman. Oh, that's true. So, um, in this, you draw five cards every turn. You refill up to five. Yeah. So... Use there's, all your cards. There's something to be said for... But I think, you know, something that comes up more in this than regular Yu-Gi-Oh! is deck management. You don't want to get hand-locked. Um, no. You don't want to run out of cards. Uh, I think we're going to crush him before we run out of cards, because we've got a fair few cards that um, that bring stuff back. Okay, that's good. Um, so I don't think that's a risk. So I'm just going to play that cat in order to get rid of it, oh. to bring in the swordsman. Um, and then... Oh, okay, I'm just going to... I'm going to play my whole hand out. Okay. We're going to get the Dark Sorcerer, but then we're going to get rid of him to get the Hydro Magician. Hydro Magician? What's the uh, the Hydro Magician's deal? Let's have a look at him. Boom. Okay, so here's our lineup. Um, Hydro Magician. Um, this young wizard. Communicate telepathically with water. Ooh. His brilliant blue dance. He's, he's foes in awe. Do you think water has a lot to say? Um... Oh, I assumed it meant he could, like, if I was him, I could, like, cover you in water mm -hmm. and then transmit my thoughts through the water into you. Okay. You know, as long as we stay wet, we're <laughs> okay. in touch. <time. laughs> okay, sure. Um, Otherwise, yeah, what's water saying? Who knows? Only he knows. I'm really. wet, but I don't know it. <laughs> yeah. uh, you should see my cousin. He's very cold, made of ice. Nice, yeah. Um, and I'm going to prep this spell that gives us extra attack, but I'm not going to use it yet. Because we don't need it, because we'll just move straight into the battle phase. Okay. And now our Master Swordsman can 2,000 damage this guy. Nice. Everything in this has overrun as well, or whatever you want to call it. Um, any excess damage goes straight into Kyle. Really good. So that leaves us an open playing field now. Wow, so just everyone can attack. Oh, Come Kyle. On. Just brought a few more bugs. That one bug's not enough, Kyle. He's still smiling, though. He's a good sport. I think he just doesn't. He just doesn't know what's going on right now. <laughs> He's just, oh, oh God. <laughs> um, this is like brand new deck. He's not played this before. Oh, yeah. He's having to think. Come on, Kyle. Okay. You got this one. <gasps> He's got another big bug. Is it um, the same as that boy that you had before? Yeah. It is. It is. Okay. Well, that is going to crush our Dark Sorcerer. Um, oh, and he's going to do that activation that flips us into defense mode. Okay. Um, oh. He's going to flip. World. He, um, he's thinking. He's got a strange cat. Odd. Oh, and he's getting rid of it. Okay, I was going to say odd move, but no, that makes sense now. Now we've got a Sonic Attacker. Wow! Your opponent gains a thousand life points, but then this card gains a thousand attack. Oh! Oh, wow, that, that's actually quite good. If that can snipe out like a large monster, yeah, that's worth giving me a thousand life Yeah, that's for. a ton of, ton of damage. Okay. Um, it's a cool design. Like a kind of monstrous... Like a fighter jet. Fighter jet. 
It's okay, he's using his power. He's giving me 9,000 health. But now he's got 2,000 attack, so he can just wipe out any of our... Oh, God. He's going to kill two of our monsters now. Oof. Oh, unless... You fool, Kyle! <gasps> You've activated my trap card! <laughs> oh, what's going on? <laughs> uh, which one is it? Uh, yeah, this one. Dark Revelation. Boom! This truly is a Dark Revelation. Oh, man. Activate. So now we get four cards back into our deck, all of, which is all of them. Okay. Um, and then we just wipe his attack board. Boom! Oh, oh you almost had boy. us, Kyle. Thanks for the thousand health. <laughs> oh, Kyle. <laughs> uh, wow, that's that's heavy, man. I know. That's How would you feel right there? <laughs> just <Kyle>. like... <laughs> um, Oof. Hey, well, Have we actually got him this turn? Yeah, if we can get rid of the Dark Magician, um, the guy... The guy with the hands. Uh, we can't upgrade him into... Oh, no, yeah, we can turn him into this guy for an extra 100 damage. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's turn him into Torn of the Windweaver. Torn of the Windweaver. See you later, fish hands. And... Um, and I guess we'll yeah. set another Dark Revelation. Oh, wait. We, we killed them before, anyway. <laughs> That's true. They were should, already dead. Should we activate... Um, we'll also do an extra thousand damage. <laughs> yeah, just is really... This, is this PM? <laughs> really just... Uh, just we'll, make Kyle... We'll get rid of the cat. Kyle not, uh, not want to play anymore. <laughs> just ruin his dreams. Oh, is he never going to play again? Just kick him out of the Battle Royale immediately. Okay, so if we win the Battle Royale, the Mega Corp that runs everything, the schools, the shops, the government... Um, they're running the tournament as well, and they're offering, like, like basically a wish. If you win the Battle Royale, you get to ask the Megacorp for a boon, Ooh. and it could be basically anything. Wow. It's like a golden ticket. Oh, man. What do you want, what do you want yours to be? Um, I want a Blue Eyes White Dragon card. Really? <gasps> Boom! Get out of here, Kyle. Or do you wish for more wishes, I guess? Oh, surely you'd be like, I want to run Megacorp now. I don't know if I want to run it, I just want to benefit from it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, but if you... Okay, I want to own it. Oh, yeah, and then I can put someone else in charge. Yeah. And then I can get rid of them. If like they displease me, yeah, just be like, look, everything stays the same, but technically, <laughs> I get to walk in, and everyone has to be just call me boss. Perfect. Um, People bring me a sandwich. They, yeah, they, yeah, you guys have to bring me a sandwich. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, that's what we'll wish for then if we win the battle royale. You're so strong. You're, You're so spirit. strong. Oh yeah, we've got this like magical spirit, and when we duel with people, we can like connect spirits mm. and have a deep emotional connection. Okay. It's kind of blown Carl's mind right now. Can try harder next time. Yeah, you do, Carl. Yeah, yeah. You gotta step up your game. Now we've learned his deck, we can build his deck. Ooh. That's pretty cool. Bug deck does sound fun. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if it's got like Dark Revelation in it. Dark Revelation <laughs> is pretty good. Seems very strong. Seems fairly, uh, fairly effective. Oh, uh, we can't actually use Bug deck yet because we're missing these cards. Okay. Um, so we'll get there. I think we can get there. Okay, cool. So yeah, how do we unlock more cards? Um, by defeating people. Beating people gets cards, and also um, we can go to the shop. We got three hundred bucks for beating Kyle. Nice. Um, so we can we can buy buy packs. <gasps> can buy another pack. Can we do a can we do like a each? card like a pack opening? Pack opening. Are you gonna get like a um? Like a YouTube pack opening excitement face. That's it. <gasps> Sport Dragon Slugger. Sport Dragon Slugger. Ooh. Fire Golem. Oh my god, it's Fire Golem. Fire Golem sounds pretty good. Okay. Oh, <gasps> nice. we need that one. Diabolic King Beetle. Amazing. I like that guy. Oh my god, Call of the Earthbound. That looks cool. That's pretty cool. That's my kind of spell. 
and a mountain. The mountain's the rare one. Really? Yeah, the last one's the rare one. Okay. Um, we didn't get any uh, legendaries. No, we got rare mountain. <coughs> and when this card is face up at the field zone, face up dragon, beast, thunder type monsters gain 200 attack and defense. We nice. have a dragon deck. So maybe we can put this in there. That's cool. Have a mountain for our dragons to live on. Okay. Nice. Cool. Um, can, are we allowed to modify our decks yet, or do we have to unlock that? Um, I think we have to wait a little bit. There's a secret room we can go to at the school. Ah. Okay. Cool. We'll wait for that then. So right now we just need to go around and find. So we can, there's a plot we can follow. We, we heard a weird noise in the basement over here that we can go check out to carry on the story, oh. or we can just um, battle all, all of these guys. Or maybe it was just Kyle. I don't know if anyone else is ready for a battle. We can talk to the green people. And we can okay. battle the purples. It sounds like. Um, also, I think you can go to the map if you go to the orange markers. Yes, this is the map. So we go back to nice. school, or. Um, Let's, let's find out what's in the spooky basement. Spooky basement. And see. Uh... Oh, is there any more? Oh, there jewelers? is someone to. There is another jeweler here. Oh, it's like another kid. Man, yeah, like we, we really got set up in the right area. Just going around, just. just, <laughs> just hustling kids. Taking out kids. <laughs> <laughs> you got to start somewhere, man. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Aww. Uh, I'm kind of nervous since this is the first time I've made my own deck. Sorry, Zora. But will you duel me? Remember, always remember, Zora, you asked for this. <laughs> you <laughs> asked for this. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh, right, let's see. Um, as we turn up with our super power deck. Uh, do you want to try the dragons now? You're cool, man. Let's try them out, because this is a good chance to learn. Because I know what those wizard cards do. I don't know what these dragon cards do. And right, least, okay. You know, it's a good chance to learn. Because now we get to say to her, don't worry, this is the first time I've used this deck. First too. time I've played this deck. Um, Elzora, you know, so so full of life. Uh, rock never fails. Rock never fails. See? Boom! 100% hundred percent, hundred percent of the time. I think it's better to go second. I don't know about you. I'm not I'm not exactly an expert in this game, but when you go first, you, you lay the board, but you can't attack. Mm. When you go second, you can drop in and attack. So you get the jump on them. Yeah. I'm going to try second. We went first last time. Okay. Let's see if it works out better for us. Oh, can we look, look at look at who we have? Yeah, and we'll have to wait for wait for Zora to have her go. Zora, she didn't put a out. single monster down. Just threw down a trap. I think Zora knows what's going on. Bold strategy. We'll see how it pans out. Um, Dragon Knight of Darkness. He sounds like a dude. That guy looks pretty cool. Um, pretty, pretty good. He's got high stats. Requires a sacrifice to be played. Um, who else have we got? We've got Multi Strike Dragon, who's 2,500 attack. Wow. Um, this turn, if this card is destroyed by a monster in battle, it can make a second attack. Wow. If they've got a, a big boy, you can just poof, 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 into it. That sounds amazing. Multi, multi strike dragon Dragus. Or Dragus. Ap aptly named. That's a multi strike. <laughs> oh, Cubes is in chat. Just, my deck has no useless cards, Tom. <laughs> okay, he's played before. <laughs> That's a good quote. Um, this guy, send a card from your hand to the graveyard. One face-up monster loses Grab 700 attack. Right. <gasps> Taking them down 700 points. Pretty legit. He's a good boy. Good. Um, we've got a trap. A vengeful dragon's counter-attack. And when a dragon monster in your field is destroyed by an opponent's attack, set one card from your hand to the graveyard and destroy one monster. That's kind of cool. That's pretty legit. Yeah. Okay. And then another um, darkness boy. Okay. Okay. So I think we set the trap for sure. Yeah. Um, we put down the two. Can we even put them down? Oh, no. <gasps> We have no low-level monsters. Uh -oh. They all require sacrifice. Well, luckily Zora, you know, well, I see Zora's going to play some stuff now, aren't they? Oh, no. Maybe our deck does contain useless cards, Tom. Uh-oh. <laughs> no, they're not useless. We just kind of, you know, we drew Are we hand drew an expensive, expensive... Uh, we got our late-game stuff. Yeah. Okay, well, 
Oof. Okay. Um. Uh oh. Oh no. Well, at least it's a defensive. Oh, they're getting rid of it. it means something big's coming. Ooh. Oh, the Hydro Magician. Oh, we know this one. Oh, okay. They're going to get us wet. Water. I don't think we okay. believed in oh, half the cards are, enough, Tom. It's pretty tough. Oof. Are we about to get hustled by Zora? <laughs> She's like here pretending to be... Uh... Oh, no. Oh, my God. So this is a spell that can destroy a spell or trap card. Um, Uh-oh. We still can't play anything. So I guess we have to play the spell. Oh, yeah, just set it. But we can't play it. We can't actually use it until we have a dragon in play. Yeah. Oh, my God. This is embarrassing. Uh-oh. <laughs> We're getting good. We, we got hustled hard. Oh, no. Zora yeah. is a killer here. It's fine. We can turn We can turn this around. This is putting me right off dragons, Tom. <laughs> this one. This one experience. <laughs> yeah. I blame... I blame the dragons for this. Ooh, double, double hydros. Hydro <sighs> okay. She's going to attack us directly, Tom. Come on out, my ace no, Zora, please. Uh oh. <laughs> please be kind, Zora. Mask of Volos. Oh man, that guy looks rad. Um, change the original attack of one face up six or lower monster in your opponent's field. Ha! Joke's on you, Zora. I have no monsters. <laughs> <laughs> Take that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, we're, we're not dead yet. True. Uh, but it's very close. Just, wait, I think we have lost, even if we draw another... Yeah, I don't think we can come back from this. Because any one of those monsters can kill us now, and we can't. There's no way we could possibly put down three guys in one go. Now we're done. Uh oh! Wow! Oh my God! Don't rage quit. Because we we turned up so confident. Now let's let her have her glory. And Zora <laughs> was just like, <laughs> <laughs> "You can't face me. <laughs> yeah. Look at my hydro wizard." <laughs> um. Wow. Oh. Uh, so were we not allowed to discard cards from our hands at all? I don't think so. Okay. I didn't get a prompt for it, at any rate. Wow. And do we have to pay Zora? Oh my god, she's BMing us. She didn't just attack with the creatures <laughs> she had. <laughs> she she's dropping in this axe, dude. Max, Max Raider! Raider. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. What the hell, Zora? Just keep playing cards. You've... Stop, Zora. We're already <laughs> dead. <Please. laughs> the face of terror. <laughs> oh Zora. What an absolute killer. Oh, thank God. Gust. She gave us the power of Gust. <laughs> Thanks, Zora. <laughs> just our, uh, like, passed out corpse. She just, like, throws oh. it to us. Hey, kid, I think you might need this. They recommend we put in more dragons to beat her. That would make sense. High level dragons was not what we were missing, game. Um, I think you'll find. Do you want to have another crit? She's offering us a rematch. Yeah, yeah, double or nothing. Double or nothing. This time we might we might play <laughs> play some cards. We, we were just like seeing what she had. That was oh, like that the was the recon up. mission. That was just the, you know... Oh, and now we've baited her into doubling down. Yeah. Like a real hustle. This is how we do it. Rock never fails. Oh, she's learned our strat, Tom. Uh -oh. oh, no. She's... <laughs> well, she wants to be first. Interesting. Ooh. Okay. Well, that dragon bat instantly looks like something that we will be able to play immediately. Oh, good. Good, good. Um, good. Okay, we've then... got this Thunder Stompy boy. Um, oh, they can drop 300 health off of our... It's a 300 attack off one of our guys. Nice. So actually, anything 1600 and below is is in trouble. They've also got the binding chain. Thousand, thousand, a thousand. Okay, it's just like kind of a just kind of a tough boy. Okay. And we've also got defender of dragon sorcerers. Wow. Um, send something from your hand. 
Graveyard, one monster in the field cannot be destroyed. That sounds pretty good. Wow. Okay. But they themselves are not super tough. No, we should probably get rid of them. Ooh. Okay, we've got two two weenies. Um, what does this weenie do? Twin Edge Dragon. Send one hand, card from your hand to the graveyard. Attack twice. Oh, amazing, because although normally a thousand attack attacking twice isn't very useful, they've got a 500 yeah. health weenie. So we'll definitely send this guy out. I think that's perfect. The double tapping double dragon. Um, we'll drop the dragon bat out, but we will then um, replace it immediately with the Dragon Knight of Darkness. Oh, uh, okay, sure. Um, Do you get the Vengeful Dragon's counterattack down as yes, well? Yes, I think that's good. And then we'll have to ditch the Gravity Press Dragon to trigger our ability. That's okay. So we'll activate the ability and we'll get rid of him. Gravity Press Dragon, you served us well. Cool, and then we'll move into the battle phase. And take out take out the Sorceress. Yeah, so we'll attack the Sorceress. Whammo! Bonk. Get out of here. And then we will attack. We'll double KO that guy, because we're both a thousand. Feels like value. And then our Dark Dragon can also kill the, the Jumpy Boy. Sure. Yeah, why not? Clean board. That that was good. Well done. And we used our whole hand up, so we get a redraw. Whole hand. Uh, we got cards down. We dealt damage. Yeah, Zora. I'm not worried looking, though. Not looking as confident now. We only you? have one guy out though, so if they, if she's got a big thing, we're we're in trouble. Who's Little this D? guy? Ah. Oh. Little D. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this Tyrannosaurus Tot's got a terrible temper. <laughs> I mean, any card description that starts with yo, I'm into it. Yo, it's me, your boy. Give us your little D. Little D. <laughs> uh, I love him. He's amazing. Bone okay. chain. Oh, yeah, we know that one. Cool. Bone chain, pretty good. And oh, yeah, we know her. Sorceress. Okay. That's fine. Is she going to do some sacrificing? Uh oh, there's traps. Now, we can't use our trap because we have to um, send a card from our hand to the graveyard, which we didn't save. Right, that's okay. We need to keep one card back to use our trap. She didn't attack, though. Nice. Oh, amazing. And we can do the same trick again with the Twin Edge Dragon. Okay. Who's that guy? Draco, Draco the Tiny. Draco the Tiny. Look at this little guy. A small, peace-loving dragon that will affectionately approach uh, if fed some nuts. Uh, the ring <laughs> on its necklace is rumoured to hold a great secret. Oh, well, let's tame him with our nuts, then. Oh, uh, Draco the and Tiny. Um, I'm, bring, I'm summoning him as a secret um, defender. Oh, that's cool. So now she doesn't know what he is, and he's got quite a high defense score. That's amazing. Uh, what does Draconic Please. Pressure do? Send three dragon monsters from your hand to the graveyard. Wow. Destroy all monsters in the field. Destroy a monster with the spell, summon a great dragon from your graveyard. Wow, okay. It's good, but we don't have the right hand for that. Wait, also, we can never get the right hand for that. Really? If we have five cards, this, three dragons, and a fifth card. So three dragon-type monsters. But we've got three of these in our hands right now. Yeah, so what I think we do is we you burn them as the oh, oh, okay, yeah. So we use the Twin Edge Dragon nice. to eat one of them. But then we trigger our trap card with another one. Okay. Yeah, I think that makes sense. We'll activate his ability. Okay, perfect. Um, and then I think we're good to rock. Okay. Battle phase. Welcome to the battle phase. Welcome to battle phase. Get out of here. <gasps> uh oh. What does it do? Um. Oh no. Oh, they get to redirect what's... our thousand to guy. Not the end of the world. It kind of is. Are they just gonna kill it with their chain. They're gonna. Someone's... Little D's gonna get him. Oh no. And now he doesn't get to attack twice because he's dead. Oh. Okay. Setting. 
And then do we do we kill little D or do we get rid of the wizard? Your choice. Um I can kill the wizard, because we get more overspell damage. And I just don't like tricksiness. Yeah. Yeah, I guess like, you know, um a little D has got more value on the field. Uh if they want to like end up sacrificing stuff, mm. maybe. Because maybe we win this through attrition. We just keep trying to get overspell damage. Okay. Seal of the Ancients. Um, look at all face down. Oh, okay. They get to look at all our secrets. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. But they also pay a thousand health. That's good. So I think we just chip, chip, chip. We don't necessarily go for full board control. Yeah. We could just chip her down. Okay, that sounds smart. That's all right. <gasps> Hydro Magician. Uh -oh. Hydro Magician's Oh, wrong. he's just just a bit better than our Dark Dragon Boy. Annoying. Oof. Mm. It's okay. Like, if we can draw some dragons and just dr draconic pressure mm. and just blast them. That's bad, man. Ow. But we've got our little... F oh, yeah. Let's, let's get rid of his Hydro Wizard with our Yeah, it does instantly do it. Yeah. Haha, -ha, Zora! You've activated my trap card! Bam. Vengeful Tra Dragon's counterattack. Oh, so uh, yeah, getting rid of one of those actually, actually helps. helps. We'll get rid of the Hydra Wizard. Yeah, Hydra Wizard, actually kind of spooky. Yeah. Good work. Uh, ooh, oh, and they didn't dragon. attack. Little D, if she hadn't peeked at that card... Little D would have run in and died. Oh, okay. So we do have three dragons. But... We could do Draconic Pressure. But we could get Multi-Strike Dragon out instead, who could come out and kill both of their people. Does he...? Because if he attacks and destroys someone, he can make yes. a second attack that battle phase. You're right. Okay, but he requires two sacrifices to be put into play. So just play down Dragon Bat. Ugh. He's just here to... Uh, be food. He is food. Should we eat little friendly dragon as well while we're at it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Tribute. Rise into the light. Multi strike dragon dragons. Boom. Oh boy, I hope. <gasps> He's got an animation. He's a cool dude. He's level seven. Oh yeah. Boom. Blammo. Okay. God, what a guy. He's a big boy. So um, now we can just kill kill all of them. Yeah, and in fact, even better than that, if we drop this guy in, Dragon Right, he can kill one of them. Right, then uh, Monkey Strike kills another one, gets a second swing, direct face. Amazing. Um, we can get rid of their trap card. Okay. Um, which one do you fancy? Ooh, that yeah, the, that one, the right one. Boom. It was a trap card. Amazing. Um, and we should we keep this or should we set it? Um, I think yeah, set it. Because we don't have anything that needs us to discard a card, do we? No. So yeah, I think just like put it put it down and um, just wait. Okay. <laughs> Right, so we, we kill the um that guy first. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no, it's okay. They get to redirect us. Okay. But that's fine, because we kill either creature. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely fine. Doesn't doesn't matter which which way around that went. Alright, then multi strike dragon. Bonk. Kills the chains. Oh my god. Um, this, is, this is brutal. Um why won't you attack again? Oh, we didn't activate his ability in the activate phase. I forgot. You meant to do it before the battle phase. I'm dumb. We could have just done 2,500 damage to her face. And I messed it up. That's okay. We've still got, we've still got time. We've still got. I just hope that she doesn't, doesn't come back. No, she can't defeat our multi-strike dragon. I won't allow it. 
Thank you, Loop Stricken, with the sarcastic well played. <laughs> uh, little, little D is here. We know all about Little D, yo. Little D, please. Please mm. be chill. <laughs> okay, what is coming out? Ooh, Silver, Silver Fang. Okay, absolutely vicious in battle. Okay. Are they gonna sacrifice? I feel like. I feel like a big I feel like both out, right? are getting sacrificed right now. And uh, okay. Hopefully that's all they've got. Uh, we got some magic. Okay. Okay. If we pull three dragon cards now, we can do the big draconic oh. spell. Oh, does Dragon Sage count as a dragon? They do. They do. So we can ditch our hand. Okay. Do you want to just check the wording on the spell? Destroy all monsters on the field. Oh, that includes ours. Okay. Let's not do that then. That's when we. That's a. That's a comeback card then. If we're losing. Yeah. So we do Dragon's Inferno then instead, which will um, destroy their trap card. Perfect. Destroy their trap card. Then uh, we'll set the... What does this guy actually do? That's just a thousand attack. Okay, fine. Um, and this guy does something cool, right? So one card from your hand to the graveyard. They lose 700 health. I don't but, think they need to worry about that. Well, remember because of overspill damage. Oh. That actually them having less attack is still good for us. So we will... Oh, we have to get rid of two guys to drop him in, though. That's all right. Yeah, no, we still want it. It's still worth it. Uh, oh, no, we don't have to get rid of one. I'm silly. Get rid of her. Get the Gravity Press Dragon in. Then we use his effect. Make Little D even littler. <laughs> Yo, Little D. He's a tiny D now. Okay. Don't forget to activate... Uh, oh, yeah, the multi-attack guy. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then, just, it's and not then I lost. guess we'll just set this. Why not? Yeah, it doesn't hurt. Cool. All right. And then I just started blasting. So we get Dragon to squash Tiny D. Yeah. Oh, can you get the other two to attack their other two creatures and then finish with our multi strike dragon? <laughs> yeah, we can. For maximum overkill. <laughs> maximum overkill. I want the most damage. Okay, take that Zora. Take that Zora. Take 2,000 more damage than it needs to take to kill you. Yeah. I feel like we, we attacked with, like, you know, more humility because we didn't go super overboard like she did on her. When this she is had... revenge. This is what she did to us, Tom. No, no, but we, we had to do all these attacks, right? <laughs> yeah, true. Uh, she brought in the axe guy. <laughs> yeah, it's like just went way over the overboard, which could have just killed us. Okay, who have we got? Oh, okay. We've got Mask of Volos, who looks cool. Was great. And a feral imp. Yeah, he is actually really good. A uh, feral imp looks like a good boy. A playful little fiend uh, that lurks in the dark, waiting to attack an unwary enemy. Nice. And, uh, dragon sorcerers. Oh, yeah. She, oh, yeah, she stops stuff good. dying. Cool. And then we got those hands. Spooky. Cool. Yeah. We're learning. Uh, okay. Wow. So do you want to go to the um, spooky basement? Yeah, we've probably destroyed enough children now, right? <laughs> probably. <laughs> uh, ruined enough dreams. Uh, ended their careers. Oh, no! Oh. oh, but she's fine. Oh, cool. She had a good time. The spirit told me having fun is the most important thing. And I did. Bam. Let's play again. That is the point of games. Yeah. To have fun. And have did. fun. And you know what? Cross your foes. We won one each. We're even. We're equals equals. Equals equals. Super fair. We learn about her deck. I guess we've got like a like a photographic memory. Once we've played a game, we're like, okay, they had three of this card, two of that card, four of this card. Wow. Yeah. Pretty handy skill. That is good. Is that card counting? Yeah. So if we played her again, we could use that power to like uh, know what she's going to draw next. That's strong. 
We completed a mission. Oh, what was the mission? Um, so you get like these like um, destroy, achievements. Destroy children. <gasps> so if we win like twenty rock paper scissors, we uh, got the title. Rock, the title rock paper scissors noob. <laughs> what the heck? Um, so we can we can receive our rewards. We did number five, number seventy-five, and number one eighteen. Okay. Two thousand gold, a ticket, and recipe seeker. Oh. What was number five that gave us two thousand gold? Oh, that was when we did oh, the overkill. Nice. We were rewarded for that, Tom. You were right to do so. Boom, man. Just good. Good, uh, good at grinding chiefs. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. Do you want to spend fun. those bucks right now? Or should we wait until after we've investigated the spooky basement? Let's investigate that spooky basement. I don't know what's going on down there. Okay. Oh, look. She just want to actually play again. We can play her again. It's allowed. Yeah, so I think that um, just the sort of like standard enemies, we can just kind of um, keep playing. They're not enemies. No, they're friends. Friends. Jewel buddies. Friends we haven't defeated yet. <laughs> <laughs> I can hardly see a thing. I'll crank, crank up them. Kaizo's lights. He might overheat, but that's a risk we'll have to take. <laughs> My eyes are burning! <laughs> oh, no, Kaizo, please. <laughs> Worth it. Now we can see. What? Look! It's oats. <gasps> you have finally arrived. Is that your? Is that your? This guy's clearly a villain. <laughs> clearly. Is that your most villainous voice? Okay, well, give me your villain voice. Mm, you have finally arrived. Okay, you get to be him now. Your voice <laughs> okay. is better. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this can be you. Oh, I knew it'd be you. Oops, I forgot to tell... I forgot you've never met him. It's Oats. Who he is, is a mystery. Wow. Yuga had to duel him to upload Rush Jewels. And he shows up time to time when we least expect it. Hmm. I learned that you had found a new ally in your quest to spread Rush Jewels. I want you to meet this individual myself. So, I've invited you here today. The only way I know how. Making weird noises in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're the one who spread false rumors in order to draw us here. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's kind of quite a, quite a master plan. What? You're saying there's no barbecue? When you heard they're forming a queue, did you think it was a barbecue? No way! You can be him. I'm everyone else. <laughs> I think uh, Oda is, has noticed that you have special powers. Hmm. <laughs> I wish to test the potential of your power with a rush duel. <laughs> Oates is very strong duelist. Make sure you're ready to face him before you do. Oh, we are, we just beat, like, two kids. <laughs> I know, right? We're kind of the best person. We personals. won two out of three games against two kids. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're ready for this guy. He can't even see his cards. He's got something over his eyes. That's so true. And if we can't beat him, we'll, we'll send Dora in <laughs> to take him down. <laughs> yeah. Good. Let's begin. I'm ready for the rush. Oh, my. Okay, do you want to tr dragons or wizards? Ooh, dragons. Dragons. Okay, right, we got to take him down because this guy, he's clearly bad news. He's just the worst. He told a lie about a queue to get us to go into his creepy basement. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what the hell? Rock never fails. What the heck? <sighs> this guy's OP. Uh, okay, we got to go first. Mm. Okay, but we've got, okay, we've got traps dragons. for days. Ready. What does this one do? Dragon encounter. When your opponent normal or special summons a monster, special summon a dragon from your hand. Hmm. Okay. Probably want to save that. Because we could just summon... We don't need that to summon our guys. It's good for when you've got a... Um, 
When you've got like a full board, yeah, and then something dies in combat, They're being able to drop him in out of sequence, bring more stuff, yeah, is yeah. when that comes invaluable. Um, I guess we just drop her down, yeah, and then it just set set the spells. I guess so, yeah. Um, so that we can get a full draw next turn. Yeah, Hopefully I think so. Get the multi strike out next turn with any luck. Getting multi strike down would be very good. But we do need another another monster to get him out. Yeah. Otis. Otis. Hammer crush. Oh my uh -oh. God, what does hammer crush do? Someone carving um, your hand to the graveyard. Effect: destroy one spell or trap card. Oh, okay. Well, good luck picking which one. Um, which one's the good one? Uh, ow. You got rid of our... Oh, Dragon Encounter, right. Okay. So we don't worry about that. We've still got the... Um, oh, Lizard Soldier's here. Oh, he looks cool. Oh! Yeah. He's got a bit of a Kremlo vibe. He is a bit of a Kremlo. Um, he's an excellent strategist. Okay. Okay, he's, kind of, he's pretty good. <gasps> Armor Knight. Oh, my God. Look at this guy. He's oh, even better. Oh, that guy looks amazing. Oh, he's an Amamite. An, an Amamite Amma warrior Knight. that has protected the seas throughout history. <gasps> Very cool. I like him. Oh, he's really, really tough. Kremlo and Krabnos working together. Ah, but neither of them could defeat our, our monster. Yeah, which is amazing. amazing. Okay. Whereas we can defeat um, his armor knight. Okay, we've got one cheapy. A phoenix dragon. Uh, we could bring out the multi-strike dragon and kill both of them, but we do need to be careful of whatever his trap card is. Yeah. Send one card from your hand to the graveyard. Add a level five dragon or monster from your graveyard to your hand. We don't have anything in our graveyard, so we can't really use the phoenix's power. Oh, look, we've got, we can do it. We can get rid of his trap card with our Dragon's Inferno. Oh, just do it. Yeah. Do Dragon's Inferno. Uh, and then Multi Strike we, you Dragon could, him? You could use the Gravity Press Dragon to lower the strength of his Armor Knight so well, that the, we can overkill more. These two guys both require a sacrifice. So basically, we either get both we the level sixes out or just the level seven. Oh, okay. Do you see what I mean? Because he takes uh, two sacrifices to play. I want, I want the uh, multi-strike dragon because he's like he gets a cutscene. He gets a cutscene, and so it's definitely better. Yeah. All right, we're doing it. Uh, don't forget to activate his effect. Correct. Otherwise. Oh, here we go. Wish I got a cutscene every time I turned up. That'd be awesome. What do you think people will get real bored of it after a while? G uh, come in to do spreadsheets. <laughs> ben! Hello. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's cool. We can do that. We can make that a thing. Nice. We kill them both. Uh, we get pretty good overkill. We do. We uh, get a lot of overkill damage here. Uh, and I guess we just hold on to these two. Yeah. What were our spells again? We've got the, if you kill our guy, we kill your guy. Nice. And we've got the um, board wipe. Perfect. Okay. Um, yeah, because if, if they do something crazy, kill our guy, fill their board with monsters, then we just board wipe. Yeah. It's good. Good guarantee. Blow. Oh. And he's taking like a thousand damage each time we do this. So yeah. This is great. Yeah, like we came in and dealt almost 3,000 damage there. Ooh. Kind of a serious deal. Kind of a big deal. I don't think he can, he's coming back from this. If he can't kill the uh, multi-story dragon this turn, I think I think we sealed the deal. I'm into that. Oh, oh George says we already have intro cutscenes at the beginning of every Tom and Ben stream. <laughs> it's true. We have our little song every time. God, is, that, is that the cutscene you want? <laughs> is that the dream? Oh. Yeah, what is he bringing out? Oh, we had a donation from Zubal, dude. <gasps> Thank you, Zubal, dude. And they say, Thousand Dragon and Blue Eyes White Dragon. Wow. So excited to see you play Yu-Gi-Oh! 
Remember to believe in friendship and trust in the heart of the cards. I do when they give me dragons. So true. Um, oh, wow, they have just a whole load of hidden stuff. I know, it makes me nervous. I kind of want to just summon in some other dragons and attack with them first. I don't know. I. You just want to brute force. I think I would like activate his ability and we could just attack both of his cards because um, he only played four cards. He has one in his hand. Mm -hmm. There is no way that a uh, level high four level. or below is going to be able no. to survive. He might have a trap. So what if we send in a wiener first? Um, like, well, look, we can drop in... Um... He, might, he might hold on to his, his wieners. Oh, yeah, he doesn't... When he's an AI, though, right? He might not play smart. No, I don't know. I reckon... Like we can have um, we can have a gravity press dragon, sure, and we get rid of um, Tim the Titan, and then we can't quite fit anyone else in. That's fine, because um, they will require sacrifice. Oh, you didn't activate? Did you activate his ability? No, but I don't think I can. Maybe I could have done. I don't know if you can do it on face down cards. I should have tried. <gasps> Oh, okay, cool. Well, he didn't do a weird trap, so. Ooh. Ooh. That's lucky. Getting your legendary out around. first is um, pretty good. Pretty damn good. Wow. For Otis, I don't think you'll. I don't think you'll be able to stand stand before us. No. You still got two attacks. Yeah, I think maybe you had activated it already. What? His effect. Oh, no, I had activated his effect. I thought you meant activate the gravity dragon. Oh, no, 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 yeah. Oh, that's, no, that's, um, no, I wanted the multi dragon. Oh, yeah, no, I, I did that first thing. Oh, he hammered our board wipe. That's all right. I'm I'm wondering if he's throwing this match on purpose, right? Because he's interested in our, like, the spirit power we have. Oh, I think he's just okay. baffling us to try out our spirit on for size. Right, so should we, like, throw this game? So he's like, oh, your spirit power's terrible. Oh. And so then he leaves us alone, and then we can go off and use our spirit power to become super strong. But what if he... What if it's a double bluff? What if he knows that we know? Oh, no, and actually he's just... And just, he's hoping uh, that, that we will throw a, the match. got a bad deck. <laughs> wow. Uh, oh, he killed our guy, yeah. Well, let's uh, get your guy. Uh, yeah, sure. Boom. Take that. Um, yeah, like we can't can't play both of those. They're too high level. Boom. Although now we don't get to multi-strike. Oh, we're 100 damage off getting him. If we can get a cheapy. Uh, should we let Dragon back get the kill? No. Multi-strike Dragon <laughs> gets the kill. <laughs> He's the star. He's the goodest boy. He's the best dragon. Okay. He's the star of the show. Yeah. That's what this deck's all about. Okay, well, you have to attack first, then Dragon Bat. No last hitting for you, sir. And... This tool will help me improve my game. I attack you directly. Bam. I attack you directly. Nice. He didn't have a trap. Otis, take that. Take that. Mm, he did take that. We're going to... Oh, level seven knight. Wow, that looks cool. Pretty cool. Got hammer crash. Brutal retribution. That sounds amazing. What does this do? Ooh. Skelly bobs on. When two or more face up normal monsters on your field are destroyed at the same time by a card effect. Oh, that's not going to happen very often. Um, special summon two monsters from your graveyard face up onto your field. Wow, oh that sounds God. amazing. What a comeback card. If you. That's really cool. Yeah. Oh, I like wow. that a lot. Okay, yeah, we're going to use that. For sure. And um, who's this little guy? He's just like a creepy fool. Oh, I thought he was like a little caterpillar guy. He's not. He could be. <laughs> he could be. <laughs> he could be whatever you like. Okay, cool. Um, okay. So what happens now? What's Ota's going to do? Um, He's going to really enjoy our spirit. And then run away? That's my guess. <gasps> That's his spirit. Oh, that was incredible. <laughs> Why do you have to say it like that, Oates? 
You did it! Wow! Well, I can't believe you were able to defeat Oats. <laughs> that's why you just... That's why you deserve to serve in my court. Your spirit power will take you far, as long as you nurture it. Ooh. Its strength is still in its infancy. Are you offering to nurture my spirit? It's... But by encountering many different duelists, you will open a new road. And only you can choose where it leads. I want to know more about your spirit and how it works. How about you enter the Battle Royale? If you do, you can get in touch with lots of spirits. More than ever, more than you ever have before. You're right, Yuga. <laughs> <laughs> in the Battle Royale, you'll definitely compete against many duelists. Should we just spread that's, our spirit around far and wide? Yeah, that's literally what I just said as you go. He just, <laughs> just repeated. <laughs> and have fun doing it too. That's why I'm entering. Yeah, that's a good, good idea. What? This means you'll be another rival. Competing for my Gora makes your dream come true boobity boo tickets. <laughs> well, that's fine, bro. I give you permission to enter the tournament. Oh, thanks, Luke. Thanks, Luke. I wasn't going to otherwise. None of us ever needed your permission. Be Kaizu? My eyes are <laughs> burning again! <laughs> Goa Enterprises has another Mondo announcement! Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Wow, wow, wee woo! Greetings, <laughs> Earthlings! Like Haley's comment, the Goa Rush Jewel Battle Royale is fast approaching! In fact, the tournament starts tomorrow! Woo wee! You should all return to your home planets and get your decks in shape. Toodles. 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 What? Tomorrow? That's sudden. Wow. Yeah, what a rush. Bye. It's getting late. <laughs> Let's get a good night's rest and be ready for <laughs> Battle Royale tomorrow. <laughs> there's like there's like six-year-olds still outside <laughs> playing cards. <laughs> what the no, hell? Bed by five, Tom. <laughs> what the hell? Could have been in bed by five. Uh, wow. Prima Guitarina, the Shining Superstar. Oh, we have her. That, in the first pack I opened before the stream, she's like an ultra rare that was That's in the pack. That's super cool. We need to fit her into a deck somehow. woo wa wee wa Greetings, Earthlings! I flew back from the dark side of the moon for Gora Enterprise's special event. Today it's the start of the Gora Rush Jewel Battle Royale, and as you rush jewel through Gora City, you'll gain points depending on the outcome of your match. <laughs> wow! That's her character trait. Wow. She, she just doesn't draw breath. Yeah, well, she just flew from space, she, so she doesn't need And to she hasn't got a space helmet on, so she, she hasn't got any air to breathe in. Right, that makes... That makes sense. The jewelers who rack up lots of points will be ranked to the top and be one step closer to the grand prize, the Dream Maker Ticket! Each competitor will receive a license card. Your jewel records will be logged on your license card, so don't lose it! If you do, you'll be DQ'd on the spot, and you'll feel wow. Without further ado, let's begin the festivities. Earthlings start dueling. Wow. Okay. It's time to go. I mean, it's go time. So uh, this is a license card. The lady just announced this, Gavin. <laughs> it looks similar to a normal <laughs> jewelry <laughs> card. But, interestingly. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Gavin. Thanks, Gavin. <laughs> Celestia said we have to reach the top. Quick, tell me, what's the highest spot in the city? Mm. Oh, Luke. Thinking outside the box. That's clever. That's mm. clever. That's not what she meant. You sure? What she meant was you have to win a lot of jewels to reach the top rankings. <laughs> Let's try our best to rank high in the standards. <laughs> he just he just <laughs> says what other people say, <laughs> but in a way to make him look smart. <laughs> Gavin, he's since, the best. Since you were able to defeat Oats, I'm sure you can handle this tournament on your own. Okay. Alert! Alert! Duelists detected! <laughs> there are many duelists in that park. Try going there. 
Um, Title, The Spirited One. That's us. Nice. Uh, we can fill in our license card. Um, boop. Uh, do we do it? License cards. Oh, I see. Left. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Uh, Rule quizzes. Yeah, we can like. So there's like puzzle mode. It's like ask you questions about cards. Ooh. Help you learn about the heart. Of okay. The cards. That makes sense. Um, so we can be. What titles do we have? This can be an exchange one. student, or we'll be the spirited one. No one wants to just be known as the exchange student. Win against a certain duelist in the underground ruins. Uh, sure. So you unlock different titles as you do choose. Uh, okay, that's that makes cool. Sense. Uh, can we change our portrait? Oh! Uh, we have to unlock them. Okay. Complete all the different missions to get different faces. Sure. Okay. Um... I think that's it. I can change our name, but I don't want to, because that's my name. <laughs> yeah, that's otherwise, you'll be Gavin will dob us in if we have an illegal oh, license he'll tell card. Us. If we actually your card's not correct, you've been disqualified from the tournament. Oh, but he would wait until you're in the final with him. <laughs> yeah, he and he'll be like, um, actually, his name is Ben, but he changed his name at the very beginning of yep. the battle royale, mm -hmm. so he should be disqualified. Because he's uh, impersonating a different person. Um, therefore, I am the victor of the battle royale. Fuck you, Gavin. <laughs> Take that, Gavin. Do you want to fight this kid? Or this kid? Wait, what's that to the left? That's just like a robot. A robot. Ooh, loot. <gasps> we got a ticket. Wow. You can open oh, my God. I don't tell anyone. You, guys, okay. you didn't see anything, kids. That was my ticket. I dropped it earlier. I found it. Uh, who do you want to take out? Purple shirt um, or red shirt? Or we can go to like a totally different place, can't we? They did say like, you know, check out Goha City Park. Man, the Goha Corp. They own everything, Tom. And they distract you with Yu-Gi-Oh! jewels. Wow. Don't this... ask questions of Goha Corp. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> play the game. Just play. <laughs> Go to the schools that we run and the parks that we own. <laughs> yes. Uh, play the card game that, you know, we control all the rules and cards for. And buy more cards from us, Tom. Wow, go a court. Fingers in all the pies. Mm. Uh, so, big thanks to Konami for sponsoring, um, yeah. sponsoring the stream. It's fun. It's a good opportunity to learn about Yu-Gi-Oh! I've never... Never done it before. And I tell you what, man, the actual, like, the card game is better than I thought it was going to be. Like, really Into solid. it. He's like, no slouch. I'm looking forward to customizing decks. Yes. Yeah. I don't know what we have to do to unlock. I guess we just have to get to a certain point in the story. Yeah, I don't think they that. trust us yet. Um, because mm -hmm. I don't think we're as big brain as these little kids that have just made their decks. They're looking at us like... You look like... Maybe you just stick with, stick with the pre-made... <laughs> Yeah, because we would just pick people based on what they look like and what they're called. Oh, we'd make awful decks and we'd just <laughs> lose against the same person over and over but again. But we would have six little Ds in it. <laughs> there would be six little Ds in that deck. Second. Second's the winner's choice. Really, I kind of like the idea of first. Really? Because uh, you, you get uh, more... You get to see more you get, cards. You get to do the, like, the, the big counter-attack. True. I guess like different decks to favor different. Um, oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Different def styles. We've just got three weenies. Uh, wow. Well, those water magicians are not terrible, huh? No, they're pretty legit. Um, we're in trouble. We need to draw a biggie here, right here. Right. Yay! Nice. Multi strike. I love nice. you. Nice. God, the multi strike dragon is just going to carry us through this tournament, isn't he? I'm fine with that. He has a cutscene. <laughs> he does. Um, we got to watch out for their traps, but I reckon, I reckon we just still just go for it. Yeah. Well, we can drag. Wait, can you drag an inferno yeah, yeah, first? You're right. You're right. Let's do that. Dragon inferno first. Use our phoenix to burn away one of their trap cards. Just yeah, take one of them out. Middle um, one. Yeah, either one. Either one's fine. Why am I? Okay, now. Now, multi strike. 
I choose you? Um, because they can kill both. Both of their yeah. water magicians. Do we risk attacking the um, hidden card? No, I, I think because these are both um, level four. Uh, yeah, they're like, both they're good. They're like really good. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. At some point, should we turn these cutscenes off? Or you I like this it? one. <laughs> I think this is cool. <laughs> Marley Strike Dragon Dragius. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I will see that. I did forget his effect. Thank you. I was going to. Um, turn him on. You don't want to leave your, your dragon not turned on. And now, kill. Kill. Kill the wizards. Kill them all. Um, oh, no, we're still in the main phase. But... The battle phase. Now, should we risk attacking face down card with our other. Our other I don't think so. It's I, probably I higher than a thousand, isn't it? I don't think that. Um, I don't think it will be tougher. You think it's less than a thousand? Oh, no, I'm going to leave it. I think uh, it's probably a high defense, low attack card. That kind of thing. So leaving it alive is kind of okay. That's that's my my gut. Yeah. Plus, it's clogging up his board. Oh, of course. Uh, see this guy? Yay! Look at that guy! <laughs> this dude! A tired old fish that can't seem to get rid of his aches. <laughs> Oji -san. san I feel bad for him. He's pretty cool. Okay. I like Oji san Just an old man fish. <laughs> yeah. On a swing. It's darkness. Oh, yeah. That's where he flips one of our cards. Annoying. Oh. Oh, no. Oji san can kill us now. Oh shit, you're right. Oh no, multi strike dragon. Um if it attacks a defensive position, it inflicts piercing damage. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah, normally when you're set as a defender, you, there's no overspill. Right. But um there will be overspill now. Oh man, our overstrike. Oh, wow. Oji San. Holy moly. Just old man fish. Old man fish. He spooked us with darkness approaching. We may never recover from this. I may never financially recover from this. Especially because we drew three spells. Oof. Well, we can have Gravity Press Dragon who can kill Oji San. That's worth it. But we have to get rid of. Um, the other lady to do so. Uh, I'm fine with that. Um, then we use his effect. We have to get rid of probably Draconic Pressure or Dragon Encounter. We won't need Dragon Encounter for a while. Sure. So, um, oh, which one was Draconic Pressure again? That's the board wipe. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, we might. That might be turning up. I um, guess it's worth playing the play the that. trap. Yeah. And we may as well play Draconic Pressure just to refill our hand. Sure. Um, yeah, because we can s sacrifice Dragon Light of Darkness to... Get out of here, Roji. If we need to do the counter-attack. Right? Um, no, the counter-attack doesn't need a card. Oh, no, it does. Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. So, yeah, we can hold on to him for that. Okay. Mm. Okay. This is... I don't know. I'm a lot less confident about this battle now. It's broken my spirit to see Multi-Strike Dragon go down like a chump to an old fish. Uh, ooh. Oh. Hydro fish. Oh, he's got us. But we can kill the Hydro Magician. Yes. With and the, I think we just, we just do it. With the trap card. Yeah. Or do we not? And then um, oh, wipe. hope for two more dragons and board wipe. Yeah. Okay, do that. Because then we get to keep the um, counter strike. Sure. Yeah. 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 I think that makes sense. I like that. I'm into it. Into that as a flow. Oh, but I forgot about the direct damage. It's fine. We've got we've got health. We do have health as a resource. Yeah, you should use it. Hmm. Just make sure we draw three dragons. 
Perfect. Perfect. Okay, we got. In fact, we got all dragons. Okay. Good stuff. Okay, so we um, start with. Start with draconic pressure. Yeah. Let's send him. Uh, him and him. maybe Draco the Tiny. Yeah. And then we, to, then we cast Dragon Bat into Night of Darkness. Yeah. What is? Oh yeah, we get sp uh, specials. <clears throat> oh yeah, we special get specials from somewhere. our graveyard. Oh yeah. Okay, uh, which I guess is going to be this guy, Dragon Right. Yeah. He's the best one. Do it. Boom. Okay, I'm glad yeah. we finally did that that spell. That's like our fourth game we yeah cast haven't it. actually cast it, but uh, get your boys down. Boom, and we can um, attack him. We can attack him. I'm guessing the special summon can't attack. No. In fact, is he set to defend? I think he's accidentally been set to defend. Oh. Oh, shit. He, I mean, he's got zero defense. This is oh. bad. Can I unset him? Well, wait a minute. He'll die before I can unset him. Uh, Why did it default to unset? Does I'm default sure. to defense? There's always set to defense. Ah. Uh -huh. OG Sans here. Uh, At least flashbacks. <laughs> OG Sam, actually terrifying. Do you think he stays on the swing and just like kicks us on the upswing? Oh yeah, that's yeah, his, yeah. That's his, his move. His oh god, Sonic Attacker as well. What the heck? We should have picked a better thing. We could have had tiny little tiny boy who's got a really great defense. They goofed. They goofed bad. They're giving us a thousand uh, health though. Oh, oh, to get the, to get the super attack, we get wiped. Oof. Okay, we can we can turn this around. Uh, sadly, we... I guess just next turn we need to hold on to a card so we can we do can the counter attack. attack. Yes, good, good thinking. Okay, well, we can use the Phoenix as well. Now we've got dead stuff. Um, <gasps> we can bring back multi strike dragon. We can bring back multi strike dragon. <gasps> yes. Yes. Phoenix, I love you. And multi strike dragon can kill both of those those guys. Activate. We'll get rid of dragon encounter. Yeah. Multi strike dragon, Dragius. Uh, so we've got to play the dragon sage, right? Yeah. And then sacrifice them both. And then multi strike dragon. Use his ability. We get to see it again. <laughs> Dragius. Oh yeah. Let's do it. Oh yeah. My boy. Uh, Lank has donated. Oh. And says, "Well, this will work as background while I paint my minis. Ooh. Considering I've got absolutely no idea how to play uh, Yogzio, <laughs> not paying attention to the flashy visuals probably doesn't matter." All you need to know, Lanka, is multi-strike dragon. Is very strong. Um, I'm going to use Dragon Inferno to get rid of one of those. Um, uh, sure. One of those traps. And I guess we keep the counter attack as a yeah. As a keep the counter attack because then we can use it as a counter attack. Yeah. Or we forgo it this turn, hoping that multi strike doesn't die, and then we have two counter strikes set for next turn and a, and a full hand. I feel like I'd hold it. All right, we hold. Battle phase. I mean, how many more OG sands can he really have at this point? Uh. Oh, man, OG Sam, very strong. Mm, he's a tanky boy, but look, he's down to 1500 health. Yeah, just that sort of like chip damage going through. Yeah. I think maybe we should have played that counter, counter attack. Seems unlikely that they'll. Oh, no, maybe they will. Who knows? I don't really know what this guy's deck's all about. 
Well, the others have had a theme. Fish. Fish. Old fish. <laughs> uh, I guess he did have a Hydro Wizard as well, didn't he? That makes sense. Yeah. Wow. Oh. He's played some traps. All the spells. So I guess get that Dragon Inferno down. Although, if we, if you, um, should we, um, Dragon no. Inferno to destroy one of the trap cards. Yeah. And then, I guess just like peck. Because that overkill damage. Yeah, should we drop in a um, Fire Guardian as well, just to be on the safe side? Yeah, attack with the Fire Guardian first. Yeah. Oh, the Fire Guardian's kind of cool. It's like a big face. Did I forget to do his... Um... Maybe. Yep. Luckily. Uh... I forgot to do the uh, double attack, but it's okay! This duel will help me improve my game. I attack you directly! Boom. Take that, Zen. Boom. Zen, kind of like, kind of tricksy. Hmm, he, he caught us off guard with that <gasps> sneaky old fish. Battle shark. Oh my god. Samyon. Show me the battle shark. Wow, that's a big shark. Oh my god, I can't wait to see his cutscene. Oh my god. You have to have a water guys to uh, to trigger him. Some one water attribute monster from your hand to the graveyard. Oh, and he flips a defender to an attacker. Ooh. Pretty good. So they've got like a dedicated defense thing that has zero attack. Yeah. Like that overspill. Oh damage. yeah, like the little the little dragons. Mmm. Okay. <laughs> oh, Hammer Jammer thought we were Zen. Oh. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> no, we're this this guy right here. Okay. <laughs> no, we're not Zen, sadly. This one's good. This is what uh, whoops. Press wrong button. The um Darkness Approaches was pretty legit. Flipping someone from attack to defend. Yeah, that's great. We should we, now that we've got that card, we should Get that in when we can. Does that work the other way around as well? Can you flip a defend to an attack? Or is it only attack to defend? I think you just flip it. Either way. It's pretty handy. Aww. Now yeah, I lost. But word of warning. There's other duelists stronger than me in this park. Yeah. Me. Yeah. You're looking at them. <laughs> You're looking You're at him, looking at them. <laughs> uh, oh, cool. We got his fish deck. Oh, he never got his shark out. Oh, defense piercer deck. Okay. Oh, I get it because he had that pierce card. The shark gets through defenders. Right. Okay. Um, he has the card that flips people. So it's all about busting defensive decks. Ah, uh, sadly, we were playing quite like an, an aggressive quite deck. Quite an aggro deck. Yeah, you really. You should have thought about that, kid. Mm. Um, go? This kid. Go um, although we've got to take a quick break. We do need five minutes, actually, five to minute have a little break. drink and a snack before we come back to this. Uh, Once we've cleaned out this park, we can go to the, the Battle Royale with the, with the big boys, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I want to take out whoever the strong kid in the park is. I guess it's this guy. He's got the red mark above his head. Um, pow. Look at that. Look that, at that evil grin. His taunting smile. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we're just going to take a quick five minute break and mm -hmm. we'll be back very soon. Yeah, we'll see you in five. See you in five. Oh. Um, bam. Oh, we're here. We're back. Welcome, Welcome everybody. To Tom and Ben play Yu-Gi-Oh. Bam. Uh, who's this kid? Austin. I'm competing with my friends to see who gets the most wins in the Battle Royale. Oh, that's sweet. Neat, because him and his friends aren't actually trying to win the whole thing. They're just here to have fun and see how many wins they can get. Which is which is great. Like, uh, wanna join? So, I'm wondering how the, the rules of this Battle Royale, right? Mm -hmm. Can you just run around the playgrounds beating all the little kids and get points? Like, you don't actually want to run into, like, a, a pro, do you? Okay, well, like, bring in, bring in a couple of ringers that I've never played before and just Chain, chain, destroy them. I, I don't think. Do you think they've thought of that? The Gu Guha Corp will they allow. Do not that. approve. No. Uh, Rock never wins fails. every time. Mm -hmm. oh, I think people have been people have been spreading our strategy around yeah, town. When 
we're, we're wearing that t-shirt that says, I always play rock. <laughs> okay, um, yeah. um, um, not terrible. Little D. Little D. Yo, it's your boy. Little D. I like Little D a lot. Oh, he's gone. Well, say goodbye to Little D. He's not here anymore. Oh, who's this? The Wind Weaver. Wow. Change the battle position of one monster of your opponent's field. So, oh, okay, so it swaps from attack to defense or defense to attack. Okay. That's legit. Strong. And 1600 attack. Hmm. Uh, we got a dragon bat. We got a dragon bat too. Wow, they actually got. It's a pretty good board. Got some, got some cards out. Um. Ooh. Okay, look, we can use the Guardian to kill the wind thing. Perfect. Um, yeah, they don't have any traps ready, so instantly take out take out the wind. Yeah, so we'll get Dragon Bat. But he is just here. What does um, the twin edge dragon do? He discard a card to attack twice. Wow. But he's only good when they either you have something to reduce the enemy's attack, buff your own attack, or there's lots of small stuff, because he only has a thousand. But, but if we get him with Ill. He dies on a on an equal. Oh. So you need stuff that's below a thousand for him right. to be shy. Okay. But that's where the gravity dragon's good. To lower lower their attack, kill them with the twin, and that then attack sense. again. That makes sense. But we can just use him um, to summon in the Night of Darkness. Okay. Yeah, Night of Darkness. Uh, take out their uh, chains guy. Yeah, slightly better, isn't he? And then set the Dragon Revenge. I feel it? like it's worth setting because we can't do anything with it in our hand. Mm. So just hold on to it. Just put it down. Um, we'll probably use it at some point. And he's got no traps. So, God, this Fire Guardian looks terrifying. Yeah. How big is it? If that's just its head, how big's the rest of him? He's a big boy. He's guarding a lot of fire. Yeah. Boom. Take this, kid. Okay. Looks like I brought bigger dragons than you did, Austin. Yeah, Austin. What the heck? What the heck, Austin? Should we send him to the Shadow Realm? Uh-oh. Oh, no. He heard us. He heard us, Tom. Oh! Oh, samesies! Fire Guardian. Okay. Mm. Do you have any additional tricks to go with your Fire Guardian? Oh, if he can buff it, we're in trouble. I hope the answer is no. Lizard Soldier. I like that Lizard Soldier a lot. I love him. I'd love to get, like, miniatures of that guy. Okay. Please, please don't kill our Fire Guardian. Please, yeah, Austin. Yeah. So you probably can't. No, he's going to kill our Knight of Darkness. Mm. That's all right. This is okay. I suppose. Depends on what we draw. Gravity Frost Dragon. Very cool. Oh, we got loads of stuff. Okay. So the, we can... Gravity Frost Dragon, his uh, Dragon Guardian, and just kill that with our Dragon Guardian. Yes. We're better at guarding... Uh, yes, we guard the fire better. Because we've, we've made his fire smaller with our gravity. Yeah. Gravity. Does gravity affect... Fire height? I have no idea. I don't think it has mass. So no? Question mark? But But in space isn't fire like it's if like those fire is like, like a it's... sphere in space, right? Yeah. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Are there any science people here? Fire is a gas, says OMG Chad. So if there's more gravity in a place, does the air sink lower? Yeah, because you have air, get denser? Air pr yeah, air pressure. But is that based on the amount of air in the space? Surely, because, you know... I don't know physics good. Uh, when you go up high on mountain... Yeah. Air thin. Air thin on mountain. But air very dense. If you go air right thick. down, you go to the bottom of like the Grand Canyon, you yep. have to literally like oxygen with a spoon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, you, have to, you have to go right down on the floor and... <laughs> yeah, 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 so they're up, I think. It's like gravy down there. Um, um, okay, well, we have to get rid of uh, her. 
to power the gravity dragon. That's fine. If that means that we kill. Mm. I think. Um, and then I guess, should we have Tim the Tiny? Or Draco the Tiny? Or should we have this guy? Nah, we should have this guy. Well. That guy, because then if he attacks and kills something, uh, we can counterattack counter by killing uh, Draco the Tiny. You're right. You're totally right. Okay, cool. sweet. Well, we got this. We got this bad. Your fire been squashed, son. Yeah, that's definitely worth it. Because that was, that was his ace in the hole. Mm. And take him down. And then we can take him down to Gravity Town. But he didn't have any traps to stop us. Yeah, what are his cards then? He might have similar stuff to us. He might have to discard to use yeah. it. And his hand's empty. Okay. <laughs> um, oh, man. Did you just read that chat? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> so... Oh. Yeah, Thanks awesome. to Konami for sponsoring this stream. Thank you, Konami. Oh. Um. Suro's donated. Remember mm. Suro? Suro the Death says, Last time I played Yu-Gi-Oh, I played a deck that only search monster. And guess what my deck was? Yep, it was Exodia. Wow. If you have this five piece in your hand, you win the game. Yeah, Exodia. Very cool. Oh my god. Hard to get. Like, how big is a deck? Like 40 cards? Getting um, five specific cards in your hand at once is take a while. I think it's citation needed minimum forty cards. I think you could have over. Oh, because at least in well, there's different versions of Yu-Gi-Oh. This is Yu-Gi-Oh yeah. Seven, which is different rules. But yeah, there was that ta famous tournament where those guys. Ah, oh, they caught our fire guardian with the. But we can counter. We can activate them. our trap card. Yeah. And we can kill the creature that hasn't attacked yet. Yeah, that's super strong. Good value. My Fire Guardian has a Vengeful Dragon counterattack. Bam. Sorry, Draco the Tiny. you got to go. Boom. Your 400 card deck isn't legal. I think well, it they, used they to did, be. They, yeah, but the rules were updated mm -hmm. uh, where they did put a cap on deck size. Because of those guys. That made a just gigantic deck. Mm -hmm. uh, part of me... Like tempted to not use Dragon Inferno because he's clogged up his spell board with spells that he's just not using. That's true. Um, and look, we can Twin Edge Dragon. Even though it's a wiener, um, we can make it attack twice. Oh, he has no defenders. that sounds really good. So yeah, if we just attack with the Gravity Press Dragon. Mm -hmm. At least we... Oh, I guess it is still worth using that because it is just more... More damage. overspell, isn't it? Gonna get wrecked, Austin. Oh, Austin. It's okay, he's still smiling, though. He's still smiling. Oh, he won't be. Won't be when we're done. That's because he's like, I'm using my health as a resource. <laughs> yeah, great value. Look uh, how much of my resources I've spent. <laughs> yeah. But... Boom. What? Why didn't he go... Did I not activate him? Oh, I did. I did activate it. Did you? I thought I did. Because I got rid of the... I spent that card. Oh, no, I didn't. I, I, I spent the card on the Gravity Dragon. Oh, okay. Um, That's fine. He's still pretty ill. Yeah. Uh, okay, you've got you've to do some big stuff this turn, Austin. Otherwise, yeah. you will not be around for long. It's going to be over soon, sir. Wait, did he not play anything? What? Is he just full of trap cards? Oh my god, he's just got like a, a spell deck. Oh no. Austin. Austin, my boy. Oh, too many spells. Okay, what's the most damage that you can do? I guess, no, no, don't attack with... No, I'm not, I'm not min-maxing the damage, man. We've already got that chief. <laughs> we don't need it again. <laughs> Min-max the damage. <laughs> I just want Austin to know, you know... We're not just playing this to have fun with our friends. We're here to win. Hopefully, when he feels our spirit, he'll know. <gasps> he'll know our utter disdain for him. <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh, one side reverse. Uh, 
Oh, flipper, flipper boy. What's the card to the right? What's that? Uh, triple trio. Triple trio. An opponent monster declares an attack while you have three face-up level three monsters in your field. That's very specific. But if you had a deck that level was like threes. all, uh, mm. um. I mean, plus 900 to all the monsters. Is super strong. Yeah, it's very good. Okay. Okay. Well, that interesting deck design. That sounds fun. Right, is Austin still going to be smiling? I hope not. He's going to have a little cry, but then he's going to feel better because of the power of our spirit. And that he is having fun with his friends anyway. That's what he said he was here for. Yeah. Unless he was a liar. He might be. Austin might be lying to us. He might have really wanted to win. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so close! You weren't close, Austin. I was so close. You weren't, you weren't, you weren't anywhere near. Apart from that turn when I didn't play anything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you may have beat me, but I don't know if you can beat him. Him. <gasps> Who? Uh, battle position deck attained. Ooh. Okay. <gasps> oh my God! I didn't see him in the playground. There's the guy! He's new here, but he's already the top dog! <laughs> he totally clobbered me! Get him back for me! Cause I saw cop! Wow, they <laughs> just get this fucking guy! I am the physical manifestation of <laughs> mayhem! <laughs> the creator of chaos! <laughs> wow! Did he just rock up on his motorbike and start just destroying children? <laughs> I don't know. Like, uh, <laughs> these kids obviously know him. <laughs> I am God Yosh, the Overcrusher, <laughs> apocalyptic hero of the fourth grade. Wow, this is like a fourth grade kid. Well, how, he's just got held back for twenty years. How, how like old is he? <laughs> he's, he's, do you know how many times he's done the fourth grade, Tom? <laughs> oh, God. Well, okay, this either <laughs> means that he's going to be really good at Yu-Gi-Oh! Or terrible at Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh. If he has never managed to graduate fourth grade. Yeah, maybe he can't do the maths required. Okay. But wow. maybe he's just dedicated his life to Yu-Gi-Oh! And nothing else. Okay. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, my God. Um, Tom, I feel like... I feel like I need my older brother to take the controller. <laughs> Save me. <laughs> I am on a mission. A mission with, like, big stakes. I can't let you stop me in my tracks, so I'm going to crush you over and over because I'm the overcrusher. Wow. Since you're new to the apocalyptic world of rush dueling, <laughs> let me tell you legendary tales of the early times. Tell me about, about the before. He's he's wearing pants, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he in his leather pants? Wow. These tales were also known as gameplay tips. I use a fiery spell, a field, field spell, spell. <laughs> to power my deck. My field spell, Apocalypse, Beast Gear World, turns the jewel field into a wasteland. Oh, he's got like happy eyes though. Oh yeah, he's, he really likes talking about the apocalypse. He's really I mean, he's dressed for it. He's, he's so ready He's for ready it. for the Mad max of us to wow. come. Wow. But in this land of chaos and calamity, my beast warrior type monsters power up. It also powers down dragons and spellcasters. Oh, shit. <laughs> because they weren't raised in such harsh surroundings. After a field spell activates, they remain on the field instead of going to the graveyard. If you don't have a strategy to counter this field spell, victory will slip from your hands like butter. <laughs> Should we change our deck? <laughs> I thought... Let's go! Oh, shit. Well, we only have <laughs> wizards yeah. and dragons I, loaded. I have a feeling that maybe we're supposed to go off and fight other people and maybe <laughs> unlock another deck before uh, Yosh the Destroyer gets <laughs> us. But maybe he maybe he's not ready to take on um, Twin Strike, Twin Strike dr Dragon Dragoness. Multi Multi Strike Draconis. Okay, we might lose here. This might be the end of the road. Uh oh. This guy saw us coming. Wow, and he's in the fourth grade. He could just be a just an absolutely stacked kid. True. Just given like beef hormones. Just really as a baby. 
Um, what happens when we run into the destroyer of fifth grade? Oh god, he's he's gonna be even bigger. <laughs> yeah. uh, do, oh wow, we can get two fire guardians out first turn. Yeah, instantly, instantly do that. That sounds like a really power. Yeah, that's the power play. I don't care how desolate your wasteland is, Yosh. Double fire guardian. Yeah, there's no way he can stop two fire guardians. No way. I think we lucked out here with this opening hand. Shim can't attack as well. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Um, and I guess we can just stick this face down. Yeah, Let's like set a dragon it. encounter. Cool. Okay. Okay, Yosh. Please don't apocalyptic battleground us. Hmm. Uh, we've seen that guy before. He can beat us. He can kill one of our fire guardians with that. Gains a thousand attack. Oh. If he gives us a thousand health. Which he'll probably do. He should. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Right. Give me a give me a delicious sonic juice. It's gonna die next turn. Because that doesn't. That boat attack yeah, buff it doesn't carry over. It goes back down to just 1300. Mm. See, so yeah, it's like a nice, like, alpha strike. Mm. But... We, can, we can still do this. We can. I'm feeling good. In fact, we can Phoenix Dragon back the Fire Guardian. Oh, yeah. Can we use Dragon's Inferno? to destroy the Wasteland effect card. Because... Maybe. I think we might be able to burn his Wasteland when it comes up. Sounds counterintuitive. <laughs> yeah. Make it more Wasteland? Yeah. I'm going to try it. I think that might be that might save us. Phoenix Dragon! I'm going to get rid of right. to bring it in. Fire Guardian. Fire Guardian. He returns by the power of Phoenix. Okay. And then... And then play it. Yeah. Are we going to kill the Phoenix that just... Uh, yeah. Or tribute the Phoenix that just um, blasted him. Boom. Then we'll drop in um, a set. Draco the Tiny. And uh, set the uh, counterattack. Cool. Okay. We'll hold on to Dragon Inferno for when his Wasteland comes out. Sure. I think that makes sense. I'll definitely kill his Sonic Attacker. Yeah. Raw. And I, I'm going to try my luck on his Defender. Yeah, I think just keep swinging. Like, it's, I, there's no way it's going to be tough enough. Ooh, he was a tough boy, but mm. not tough enough. There we go. Okay, that was pretty good. Dealt like a little bit of little bit of damage. Hmm. But Yosh, Yosh is a spooky boy. I know he's he's got me spooked. In fact, he's got like a hard counter for our deck. Yeah. And I guess he might not draw the card. There's a chance if we are like fast and aggressive enough. Beast Gear Moto Wolf. Oh, oh my god! Look at this amazing. guy. <laughs> uh, fantastic. Looting uh, citizens for their food and gasoline. He might appear to be a lone wolf. But he believes that evil is right and does everything he can for his gang. For such a wicked animal, one can't help but wonder why his distant howls touch the heart so deeply. <laughs> okay. He's a good boy. Uh, you have to be better than that, sir. We can kill him. He might try his luck on our defender. Uh, oh, he will, would kill the defender. That wolf is pretty aggressive. Ah, woo. Yeah. Uh, it's a double KO, though. Oh, amazing. Oh, what? <gasps> He's here, Tom. Twin Strike Dragon. It's Twin Strike Dragon, is here. Twin Strike Dragon, man. It's a Twin Strike Dragon. 
Uh, wait, but do we... Do you want to get rid of one of his traps? We could get rid of both of his traps, but then we can't get rid of his wasteland later. Hmm. I feel like we hold. I, I almost like, there's almost a bit of me that is... Uh... Just just uh, pad for time. Yeah, like, or... I, no, I like that we should just be like, just swinging... I guess, like, actually, no. Believe in the heart of the cards, man. Multi, multi strike dragon, I guess. We, we'd have to get rid of a fire guardian, which I'm not excited about. It's true, but if you think of it more, not that we're getting rid of a fire guardian. We're upgrading. We're upgrading. Mm. And then we can put down the twin edge dragon as well. True. Who can do a bit of pecking. Okay. I mean, when, when are we ever not going to use our Twin Strike Dragon? He's pretty good. Multi Strike Dragon uh, Dragius. Oh, yeah. There he is. He's won us every game so far. He's never let us down, Tom. Even that game he died, <laughs> he came back. <laughs> yeah. He's just the perfect, just the perfect boy. Da -da -da -da. Effect activated! Uh, uh, right, then we drop in the Twin Edge. Yeah. We're going to have to ditch a card to use him. Do we even need to use him? Well, yeah, because if Multi-Strike kills two of them, and Fire Guardian kills the other one, then he gets to swing in twice to face. Oh. Um... So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna. Yeah, he's um, one of the. I'm gonna set that. I'm gonna activate this. Okay. And I'm gonna hold on to the other one. Sure. Oh uh, wait, did you activate multi strike dragon? Uh yeah, yeah, I did it immediately. Boom! Right before you attack with him again. Yeah. Should you uh, attack with um, the Twin Strike Dragon, the guy on the left? What's he going He only has a thousand attack, though. But is it worth a gamble because we'd get so and we much get more, more so much more face damage through? Okay. Well, yeah. actually, maybe not because um, we'll get the overspell with the our oh boy. We don't get overspell on defenders. Oh, you're right. Okay, so yeah, maybe attack like this. Fire uh, Guardian. But he only had two hundred defense. Oh well. Um, yeah, we could have got more damage out there if we'd done your first plan. If we were a bit more... Um, a bit riskier. Risky. I attack you directly! Okay. Done good damage. Yeah. And if anything, we've got more health than we started with. Oh my god, you're right. We're in a very strong position. Jeez, Yosh. I thought you were the destroyer of worlds. He's, he's got a trick, though. He's got tricks coming. The moment that he can turn this this wasteland, this battlefield into a wasteland. Okay. Mm. Does he just defend because he's just stalling? I think because he knows that you can't overspill when you set defend. Right. So he knows his guy is going to get killed no matter what. Okay. He's just trying to minimize damage. Um, but in turn, if he he's all about overspill, I feel like most of his monsters are going to have low defense. Low defense, high attack guys, because he wants to... Yeah. So I think we use the twin twin edge guy. Right, and just to, hopefully knock out his low defense guys. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. I'm worried about his three spells, but he hasn't triggered them yet. Have I wouldn't, I wouldn't be worried. Okay, I won't be worried. Have no fear. Okay. Uh, right, so we'll we'll activate Twin Blades. Yeah. And we'll get rid of, like, Dragon Bat. Uh, yeah. Um, oh, Abe's asked if we're reading donations. We are. Yeah, we've read them all, actually. If anyone does donate, we'll um, be able to just Got go it. straight in. Okay. So it might be risky, but I do think... I think you're right. And at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if we lose this guy. It's worth the risk. Yeah. Uh... What have you got there, sir? Oh! oh! One, like, thing that we didn't want to see. He didn't die, though. Oh. 
Can we still? Uh, can we attack someone else then? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Good. Okay. Then we get him to attack dragon. Then we. Oh. Oh no! Counter cannonball. What does that do? Uh, inflict damage any opponent equal to the level of the attacking monster times two hundred. Oh. Uh, we're level seven. So that's fourteen hundred. Yeah. Oh, but it was to us. Oh, not to him. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, we'll take yeah, that absolutely. for you. Don't don't mind. Don't mind that one bit. Nice. Ah, oh, it was really unlucky that we attacked the only the one, one we couldn't that beat. we couldn't have killed. Yeah. Otherwise, we could have got a bunch more damage out. Well, we still got two thousand five hundred through. Really good. I'm okay. Not sneer at that. He, he's got to pull some tricks real soon because it seems like we are overspilling all over him. Yeah, we can't even play our cards. Like, our hand's getting clogged. Here oh, it there. is. Okay, so what does it do? Like, they gain 300 attack, we lose 300 attack. Yeah, exactly. Okay, we might lose some stuff. We do have a counter so we have the. We have this. What have we got down here? I've forgotten what I thought there was, um, we have. We had to, like a counter uh, when they destroy one of ours. We counter spell it. Yes. Uh, counter. We kill it. Destroy. We kill. We kill. We're gonna lose multi strike dragon. That's okay. If he doesn't play any other monsters, we, we will still get him. Yeah. Oh, I'm going for multi strike dragon. You fool. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, which one was it? This one. Okay. Yeah. Vengeful Dragon. Vengeful Dragon counterattack! Love it. Ha ha ha, Yosh! You've activated my trap card! Bam! It's removed from the game! Nice. Bam. Now, just for, um, for science's sake, I'm gonna use yeah, activate Dragon it Inferno. And see if that works. Nice, yeah, you can. Yeah, you can Do destroy it. the wasteland. Amazing, that's really good. With dragon fire, very cool. Okay. Ooh. And once again, all glory to multi strike dragon. Oh man, we could have overkilled him so much more. <laughs> Get any bonus for it? You don't believe in half of the cards. But... <laughs> oh, oh my look God. At these guys! Beast Gear Emperor Catapult Kong. Okay, that instantly sounds amazing. This guy sounds like a Tom card, doesn't he? Wow. <laughs> uh, send up to two face-up Beast Warrior-type monsters. Other than this card from your field to the graveyard. Destroy defense position monsters on your opponent's field. Equal to the number of monsters set. Wow, that's pretty good. Wow. God, like that guy's pretty beefy. Hmm. And we got the Apocalypse Land, we got the Motorbike Wolf, and um, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> These, like, Beast Warriors are amazing. <laughs> They're so cool. Oh, good stuff. Uh, man, I bet these kids are going to be so upset. <laughs> the two kids that, like, f phoned up Yosh to come and just <laughs> mess us up. Oh, no, no, it's the other way around. Um, Yosh had beaten them up, and so they asked us to take Yosh out in revenge. Really? No, because they were like, oh, you beat me, but there's like a tougher guy around here. I yeah. think those kids were working with him. Oh, my God. Oh, he's sad now. Oh, Yosh. No. Oh. <sighs> wow. You're like a super strong duelist. Huh? You sense that my spirit is worried about something. Well, it's that I want to win this tournament so I can buy my mommy a Frankfurter flechette maker. Fettuccine. <laughs> <laughs> a Frankfurter fettuccine. <laughs> but, yeah. Is that a thing? <laughs> is Frankfurter, Frankfurter flechette a thing? <laughs> What's that? Oh my god. Um, you have time to play, you have time to study. Oh god, that sounds like something my parents would say. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Dueling 
Tooling is the way that we got to know each other, and cooking is the way my mommy gets to know me. She's saying she can't love me if she uses a machine to make my fettuccine. <laughs> wow. Now I understand. Thanks for the jewel. <laughs> Made our entire match worth it. <laughs> so it his, sounds his, like this guy's got some issues. His mum won't love him unless he goes and buys her a fettuccine. No. His mum won't love him if he does get the machine. Because oh. then the machine will make the dinner instead of her. Right. And food is love. Oh. There's mask. Whoa! Whoa! What? What happened to your arms? <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, I'm Yoshi Mini. We go to the same school. So I hope I can duel you there too. <laughs> oh, my friends called me because they said there was a great duelist here while I was in the middle of homework. If mommy finds out I've been dueling instead of studying, she won't make Frankfurter <laughs> fettuccine for me anymore. And we know that her making him Frankfurter fettuccine means that she loves him. So he's saying if she finds out, she won't love me anymore. Yeah, should we make his, should we go home and tell her? Tell. Tell. Tell on him. Sever his mother's love. <laughs> yeah, yeah. At the end of the game, we'll see him as like a hobo somewhere. <laughs> oh my God. And he'll be the final boss. He'll come back. <laughs> uh, I have to go home. your turn. You? What are you, where are you? You haven't finished your... Wait, this is his mum? This is his mum! <laughs> I'm so confused. Uh, huh? <laughs> is that you, Yash? What happened to your tight leather biker gear? So, I said no battle royale until you do your homework, but he's still jeweled. Like, really? <laughs> his opponent's that new transfer. That student tricked and corrupted my Yoshi! <laughs> Dude, that was his mum. Who is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> the twists and turns. This is a roller coaster. <laughs> Who am I? Five to nine. An elementary school student. After five. The best mom in the world! <laughs> She's going to duel us for her son's honor. <laughs> she goes to school. <laughs> <laughs> so we thought, we thought the kid had been held back and was actually really old. <laughs> when he was a big guy. But no, actually, he's really small. <laughs> and actually, his mum has been held back really far. <laughs> and actually, she is old. But does go to school. <laughs> yeah. It's a roller coaster, <laughs> a literal roller coaster I of emotions. Cannot keep up with the twists okay. and turns. Okay, <laughs> one of Gosha's elite, one of the top of the hexagon. Okay. <laughs> I'm number six. Me, 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 me. The one who'll teach this kid a lesson. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, what? Are we not going to duel her? Surely we're not allowed to yet, right? There she is. Oh, uh-oh. Do you want to go straight for her, or do we want to like grind some kids first? I think I think we've got to take her out. <laughs> I need to know what happens in the story. <laughs> yeah. Because there have been quite a few twists and turns in the last just two or three minutes. I thought I knew where this plot was going. Me too. I was wrong. <laughs> so wrong. Um, let's go and take out, take out his mum. Hey, you there. Yeah, you. I'm number six of the hexagon. I'm like, you know, super elite. I heard you're dueling these kids so that they can't do their homework. You think that's cool? It's not! It's grody to the max, so I'm shutting you down! Okay. I'm challenging you to a rush duel. If you, you lose, no more corrupting of the youth. Okay. Here's a little warning. Just like Yosh, I use field spells too. It's nice oh. that they're explaining what their deck does before we play. That's very polite. That's cool. That's good. I, so you don't get like gotcha'd by like something you've not you're not familiar with. Exactly. It's good, good sportsmanship. Yeah, I really I mean, respect that. that. 
But das my field spell is better. It raises the roof to get the party started. Shining City Knight. It pumps up Knight Attribute Monsters with 200 attack. Since field spells remain in the field, my monsters get an energy boost to so let some boogie all night. But if you do your own light monsters or destroy my card, that's bad news. Well, keep that. Hush, hush. Do you have the GTS? GTS to face <laughs> my that, deck? That's how you spell it. Seems oh. to be doing your homework rather than dueling. Yes, I can't spell guts. <laughs> oh. um, You're about to tussle with the raddest duelist in the city. <laughs> GTS. S M R T <laughs> Smirk Smirk <laughs> Should we switch? You want to keep draconing? I like the dragons. The dragons are cool. Okay, I, we need to try a different deck before the end of the stream. I feel like we've done a lot of dragons. But Maybe we'll buy some packs after this and like make something. Okay, I don't. We'll see. Because I want to try that Mad Max deck. I really want to. I really want to try that Mad Max deck. We should do that next. That Mad Max deck looks super cool. Oh, everyone everyone knows our strat, Tom. <laughs> it's because we've got that t-shirt. <laughs> um, so this is Yosh's mum, remember? Yep, Yosh's mum. Yosh, who was, we thought was big. Yeah. But then he was small. And now she is young. It's a trick. It's a family of shapeshifters. Oh, I don't think we actually do want to turn one multi-strike dragon. What? Because we can't attack turn one. Play it. But what if it just gets destroyed? Play it, Ben. Turn one. How can that go wrong? We don't get to just wham. We don't get the jump. Turn one. Amazing. Or... Uh. I guess we can hold on to it for now. I think we should. And also, I guess it makes sense to like switch one of those to the Dragon Knight, just because it's a bit um, tougher. Yeah, and I then think that's next smarter. turn, next turn, multi we can do it. So, so then it gets to attack twice before they get a chance to react. Yeah, we can have like an Alpha Strike. Ad Ape has donated. Thank you very much, dude. And they say <laughs> hello, lads. Due to a busy life and a transitiony, tran transitory phase in the campaign. Oh, no, let's do this first. Oh. With the pulsing power of... Oh my god, she's, she's like a disco queen. I love it. She has a lot going on. Oh my god, the Boogie Master's here. <gasps> Dan Keto, wow. the Boogie Master. <laughs> she's level 8. Uh-oh. Yes, I want to see what she does. So one card from Hands to the Graveyard. Gain a wow. thousand life. Not bad. She's pretty legit. Oh my god, I love it. She's boogie. She's so strong. We got to. We can't just let that tick over. No. Every turn. <laughs> we haven't got anything that can um, can handle deal with that. it. No. Yeah. Not even close. Bonk. I mean, we could double KO it with uh, Multi Strike Dragon. Uh, oh. oh! 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 Next time. We get her next time. Yeah. Don't activate, right? So we, we could kill her, but we would lose the Multi Strike Dragon in the process. I think we. Oh, well, no. Uh, I was going to say we should have activated it because then we've got more chance of drawing five cards that we get the Phoenix. We'd instantly uh, get it back. Oh, yeah. Well, no Phoenix. Oh, but, but we'd okay. one more card. You're right. You're right. Um. Let's just stick like a Dragon Knight down. Yeah. Let her kill it. We go full defensive mode as well. Let one of them die. Okay. And then play the um, the counterattack. Sure. We change battle position. So now there's no overspill damage. Okay, that's good. Um, Oh, TJ, wow, I've forgotten. TJ just reminded us that we have a bunch of keys of, for this game to give away. Wow. Wow. Um, how, how can you distribute them, TJ? What's um, the normal system they use? Do we have like a raffling system? 
Or should we just like get people to like spam like an emote or something and we pick from people who've said that? Whatever, whatever you think's best. We shouldn't use emotes because then it's subscriber only. Yeah. Um, let's say everyone spams... Um, little D. Little D. And TJ randomly picks people who have said Little D. Um, and they he DMs them the key. I think that I think that's how it works. So, um, so these are Switch keys. Yeah, these are for a Nintendo Switch. If you want to play I'm this, EU only, EU region locked to the EU. Oh, it's only EU. Um, so don't say little D if you don't have an EU Switch. Yeah. We've got nine keys to give away. Wow. Um, amazing. Look at the chat. It's going bananas. Um, and it's a Switch game. There you go. Enjoy. Plenty of candidates have entered. Little D, little D. Um, Yo, dog. It's little D. Uh, so yeah, just keep keep that going. I think this will take TJ a few minutes. It will to take him work a few out. minutes. But he'll get there. Um, and so we're gonna uh, do this. Yeah, I totally forgotten when they'd given us keys to give away. Originally, I was gonna say give them away at the start, and then people we could battle people who got the keys. Right. But it, you have to play for so many hours before you can unlock online play. Yeah. So it wasn't an option, sadly. I think that makes sense. Um, so we don't actually do anything this turn. Oh. But at least we knock out their best card. I assume yeah. their best card. And she's really strong. Bubbly Elf. My god. This girl is delicate no more. While poisoned and collected, she's always down to party. Down to party. 800 uh, attack. Wow. Okay, so not super strong right now. Um, that's, right, that's right. Heal. God. Like, if she gets her um, the battlefield effect card out, that adds plus, what was it, 200 strength to um, yeah. light cards? Oof. Uh, yes. Because we can destroy anything. Anything, yeah, exactly. Is it this one? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Haha, -ha, you've activated my trap card. Boom, that's really good. We lose Night of Darkness. And then goodbye. Yeah. <sighs> Ooh. Super tough. Amazing. Oh, nice. That's just what we needed. So now uh, we can drop in a dragon bat. Yeah. I think it's probably worth getting the other dragon counter attack down. Who is this? That's Dragon Knight. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, we get the other dragon counter attack down. Um, can we eat two dragon bats? Yeah. Oh no, I got rid of the wrong one. Oh. oh well, that's fine. Draggy ass. Da -da -da -da. It's our boy. Here to save the day. Uh, he can take out both of their defenders. Actually, wait, the um the dragon bat can actually kill kill one. The the elf. Oh yeah. So he has to kill something to attack twice. So I guess we'll There's, I think he can. I think it's better to make him attack the other card. Also, I'd hold on to the dragon. Yeah, seat, so maybe we can do a counter attack. And counter attack. Okay. So I think get him to attack the a uh, face down. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. The dragon bat would have died to that. Yeah. Then down to party. No more. Boom. And then attack, attack their face. Attack face. I attack you directly. Nice. That was good. What a comeback. We're back on top. Yeah. Well, they still have more life. True. Um, We've got multi-strike dragon, Tom. We do have multi-strike dragon. Best card in the universe. <gasps> Shaman Octopus. What do you do? Pay 800 health. Gains attack equal to the number of level one... Level of one normal monster in your graveyard. Wow. Times 100. So what, does that count the level eight monster? 
Can they get 800 level extra attack? Level 1 normal monster. I feel like it's surely it must be level 1 monster. And it shuffles them back into their deck as well. That sounds pretty good. Uh, okay, that makes sense, because it means that you can't... Can't spam it. Wow. Mm. Uh, okay, they activated the effect. Yep, they did 800, so they're level 8's back in their deck now. Shuffle. Mm. Okay, so they're going to kill our bat. But we can kill both of them. Yeah. And the overspill we pretty good. Oh, right. You guys, yo, dog, little D is done. All nope. the keys have been All given. All the keys have been given. Do you just want to activate this and kill, like, that face down card? Yeah, I do. That's exactly what I want to do. Vengeful dragon counter attack. Boom. Um. Perfect. Now we just deliver 3,000 damage to face and wipe their board. Yeah. And a Phoenix Dragon. Hold on to it, but just in case our dragon dies. Oh, but then we could bring in the Gravity Dragon. Oh, we, we could. And then we deal even more damage to them. Okay, sure. Yeah, I like, I, I respect. More yeah, damage, more good, it. right? Full aggressive. Yeah. Oh, we could even um, use the Phoenix before we sacrifice it. Okay, yeah, we because... Can get um, dragon encounter. Uh, and get the... Knight of Darkness back. Sure. Then... Gravity Dragon. Yeah, I reckon, like, get rid of the Draconic Pressure. Yeah, and then activate Gravity Dragon. Like, lower the health. Perfect. And then we can also set... Um... Oh, we can't set that. Oh, no, because we have to do this first, right? There we go. Gravity to Octopus. Octopuses don't like gravity. No, yeah. famously. Like, if you see the difference between an octopus underwater and an octopus mm. on land... Yep. They don't like being squashed. Okay. So yeah, I guess just doesn't matter where Multistrike Dragon Dragius attacks. He kills one of them. He's just gonna kill both of them with massive overspell because they don't want to no. uh, Oh, I guess it doesn't matter who kills who at this stage. No, it doesn't. Because we're as long as he, as long as Multi Dragon kills one of he them, he has to kill one. Then that's absolutely fine. Um, okay. Oh, real oh good. God, what a turn. Hit me with your best shot, number six. I would have thought I would rank my... If I had, like, the Knights of the Hexagon, number six would be the best one. Really? But I'm guessing in this, because yeah, it's the first one we've it, met. But if but you want to be in, you want to be number one, right? You want to be in first place. You want to be a wee-wee. Then you want to... <laughs> if, if you... If you've, were in a race. Mm. Do you want to be in position one or position six? I guess. But one is a smaller number, Tom. Mm. And also six is the number of the he hexagon number six. But if you are missing any of the other parts of the hexagon, you're not a hexagon anymore. <laughs> True, you're just a line. You're just a line. You're just a dot. <laughs> Uh, okay. So I'm bringing in um, a Knight of Darkness. And I'm going to Dragon, Dragon Inferno. Inferno their spell. Yeah. Okay. Boom. Yeah, I guess just like peck. Well, if we if we do this right, um, we can get one face shot with the dragon. Right. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of a bit of a lucky dip. Yeah. So I guess just attack. So multi dragon has to kill something. No overspell, Ball. but that's fine because now, as long as everyone else kills, um, and it's absolutely fine. Oh my god, who was that? Wow, fancy angel lady. Nice. Ooh. 
Yeah, I guess because all of our stuff is higher than um, tier four. Yeah. It's probably pretty unlikely that they have um, some defender. Man, multi strike dragon, draggy ass. Best card EU. So good. It's literally carried us through every game. <laughs> wow. Oh, we've got her now, the Boogie Master. <gasps> Oh, I do like that deck. Do you want to play? Party time disco ball. I'm not sure if I like the disco deck or the beast warrior deck more. They're very different, aren't they? If the beast warrior um, main dude, what was he called? There's Mega a card called party, party, party. Party, party, party. <laughs> oh man, these decks are cool actually. I really like them. I really like these themed. Party time. Ooh. Okay, let's um, let's buy some packs and see if we can make one of these. Um... Oh, I guess that that's the thing. Yeah, just buy as many packs as you can and see which of these decks we we can build. Although, yeah, what's what's Yosh? <laughs> <Yosh. laughs> Should we go back to Yosh and tell him how badly we smashed his mom? Wow, well, uh, Yosh. By the way, your mum doesn't love you, and <laughs> we just fucking smashed her. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Right, are you going to go and make some Frankfurter Fettuccine now? No way! I lost! I gotta do a better job at work and a better job at home if I want to make Yosh happy. Ooh. I felt your spirit in our duel. Like, really felt it. Your aura was super bright and shiny, like a disco ball. And it cleared my mind of all negative thoughts. Oh, perfect. Move, move the go a uniform. If you can duel like this, you can't be a bad kid. <laughs> Whoa, really? <laughs> it's all a misunderstanding. My bad. Uh, it'd be totes my goats <laughs> if someone like you would win this, Tawny. <laughs> no one who plays Yu-Gi-Oh well could ever be bad. <laughs> oh, uh, keep the fact that I work for Goha on the lowdown. Okay, e like everyone just saw you. You, what, you had a big logo on your face. Yeah. If you do, I'll treat you to a plate of Frankfurter fettuccine too. Oh, if we keep it on the lowdown, right? Yeah. I thought it was like a threat. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, what are you doing here? Mommy, what are you doing here? I finished my homework. <laughs> He's lying. <laughs> He's lying. They, she knows you're that was lying. Like ten minutes ago, what was your homework? You did that awesome sauce. Speaking of sauce, I'll make your favorite dish. Peace out. <laughs> Peace out, son. <laughs> <laughs> Peace out. Let's go have some Frankfurt and fettuccine. <laughs> My boy. <laughs> um, oh, there's a new dish called Tune Up Your Jewel Ramen. They say eating it improves your game. <coughs> Who says that? Bubbly Aristocrat. Wow. Okay. Um, wow. Wow. Okay, let's. Um, I really want to try one of these new decks. So let's go to the shop and buy some card packs. Oh, oh, which? Oh. Oh. I don't know which pack I want. Oh, so this, right? Pack two has the Mad Max and the Disco cards in. Okay, so we let's buy do that. Pack two. Yeah. Um, How expensive are they? We can buy five packs with gold and two packs with tickets. Okay. So seven packs. Sure. Feels pretty good. Although surely we have to unlock quite a few cards. Yeah, we got given the core cards for free when we beat them, like the okay. legendaries. I think we just need to fill out the commons. Right. Um, ding, 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 ding. Ooh. Oh my god, we got another Boogie Master. Wow. Ding, 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 ding. We've got yeah. the, the Jackal Gyro. That's cool. Blue Milk. Blue Milk. Ding, 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 ding. <gasps> Look at Beast Gib. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I wanted okay, to see that can, guy in the trolley. Uh, Thousand Knives. Oh, we got La Moon the Party Princess. And, okay, we'll need, to, we'll need to go through and have a look at some of these cards. Yeah, we do. There he is. That's the guy I want to have a look at. Um, what button do I press? Beast Gear Buggy. Yeah. I don't think I can look at them individually. That's okay. We can go. 
Looks like Baby Bowser. Oh, uh, oh double block laser dance. Cool. Ooh, another Phantom Bind. Innocent Lancer. Seems pretty cool. Okay. Lots of new cards. Okay. Oh, there. There's your boy. Can yeah. you uh, card details him? Uh. Oh, he's a dog! <laughs> oh, he's amazing! Look at his little dog house! <laughs> it's a dog house that's a car. <laughs> he's got some amazing shades on. Wow, that guy is... I love him. Jim, a canine that extorts scraps of food from an old man. He is full of himself and acts tough, but has no real <laughs> convictions. <laughs> he used to hate living life on the leash, but now he feels that he was happier just to have an owner. Oh, no. Oh, oh sad story. Okay. Um, so we've got 21 of, uh, 25 of 51. Of all, all the cards. Right, let's see if we can um, deck. Uh, check recipes. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot about the fish deck. Could have bought fish cards. Oh yeah. Oh, well. Um, I don't see them in here. Did we not get the recipes from them? Oh not? no, Tom, we just wasted our money. <laughs> we didn't get recipes when we beat them. We oh. only got recipes for set one decks. Oh. Should have spent that money on um, on fish. We need to get the recipes before we can copy their decks. That's okay. Um, sorry, every everyone else we fought has given us their deck recipes. So yeah, I, I guess those they all would. Different ones. Um, Do you have to go and fight Yosh's mum again? I don't know if that will help. Go Let's check our missions. Did we complete any missions? Delicious, delicious plate of. Uh, Ooh, of we did! Wow! Oh look, we got some um, got some new recipes. Oh, cool! And some tickets. Nice. Um, which means we can buy more cards. Yeah. More oh, cards. Let's see if we can get the fish fish cards. Oh wow! Um, Okay. I just want to see um, some of the other like animations for the for the legendaries. Yeah, me too. Uh, like especially uh, like the giant shark. Who's that? That one up. That's super cute. Oh, he is cute. He's the weird block. I love the um, Anamite. Armonite. The Armonite, Little D, Lizard Soldier. All of that is great. Gust looks fantastic. Good boys. Oh, <gasps> Battle Shark. Ooh! Got the battle shot! Is that Seven's Road Witch? Oh my god. Okay, we'll have to um, look at them all at the end. Okay. I bet there's a way we can play the animations of the cards we own without Oh. Playing. I think I saw a button for that. Really? Oh my god, if we can do that. Right across Hero of Dawn! Oh, that sounds amazing. Um, who is this guy? Right across Hero of Dawn. Looks pretty cool. Shuffle two spellcasters into Ooh. your deck. From your summon. graveyard into your deck. That's pretty good. And then summon two level five or lowers face up from your hand onto your field. Wow. That's real strong. That's really cool. Yeah. Like, oh, you want it a little bit later in when you've actually got some, got some stuff in the graveyard. And then what does she do? Hey. Someone card from your hand to the graveyard. Effect. A uh, special summon one level seven or higher Ooh. dark attribute spell cast the type monster from your hand face up to your field. Uh, if you summoned seven rose magician by this effect, card gains 400 attack. We have seven rogue magician. Wow. They're a combo piece. That's kind of cool. Oh, man. Who's the one up? What's that? <laughs> oh, and when the monster on the field destroyed by an uh, opponent's attack. Um, Summon a level one normal monster from your graveyard. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Okay, sure. <laughs> sure, sure. What, a good, what a good boy. <laughs> Not the most useful. Um, so, yeah, the, we've got the... Um, how do we... Card catalog. Um, Who's that guy? That other new guy? Oh, my God. Look, Tom, it's, it's, it's the meme. <gasps> 
Blue Eyes White Dragon? He's here. Mm. Starry Dragon. Yeah. Wow, we attack 3000. Oh, we don't have him. Card from Deck Pack Mod 1. Yeah, that's like the legend. Right. But it's weird because all the other cards, we don't even know what they do. But this yeah. one, we get to, everyone knows so. what he does. Uh, um, okay. Max Raider! So we saw saw that guy. He did see someone else do it. Oh, because look, why? Summon video. Yes, okay. He's a Boom. Big. He's got like samurai shoulder pads. He's cool. Max Raider. Max Raider. Love it. What abs. a buff boy. King of abs. Did the horse guy above it have a. No, he doesn't have legendary. No, oh, no, he does. Right, he does. I'm dumb. Okay. Oh, double <laughs> lances. <laughs> okay. Super cool. What a guy. Um, oh, wow. That's quite a cool robot. That's cool. Hydra Mage. <laughs> that. Okay. <gasps> the handlebars are sunglasses. <laughs> I didn't notice that before. That's amazing. <laughs> it's such good design. Okay. Um, Armonite, very cool boy. Bless the dragon. Uh, dog, super cool. More dog. I'm sure we have another legendary. We can like watch the animation. Yeah, wasn't Where's, the... We've got the shark, right? The shark. And the girl. What kiss? What kiss? Look at that guy. Oh, so it is a caterpillar. Yeah. Small but deadly creature is better off avoided. It looks like the the um thing for Starship Troopers. Petite moth. Yeah, it's the brain. The brain bug. Brain bug. Uh, oh, we've seen her. We've got two of her now. Oh, we'll play it again anyway. We'll play it again, Sam. I want to see you again. Oh, press X to sort. Oh, thank oh, you. Oh, we just sort by, you know. Sort by rarity. Just level. Yeah. Blam. Boogie Dang, Keto. Uh, she's keeping her boogie move secret, though. Amazing. Dang, Keto. I love you. Very cool. Uh, filter by highest rarity. Hmm. Seem to have done that. So you have to go like up. Um, uh, I've done it. Now press Y. Yeah. Oh no. And then close. Doesn't hasn't sorted it. Did you do that? And then did you They're press not Y? Confirm it. Y afterwards. Oh well. Uh, Select high severity. Now press Y. I thought search meant like type in what. Oh. Do you know what I mean? Like a like a search bar. Um. Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay. Not okay, all so the buttons is, are different on a switch controller. Yeah, what I'm yeah. Used to. <laughs> this is so this is the Seven Roads Magician. Right. God, he's pretty spooky. He's missing half his top. Oh no. That's where the magic comes out of. Uh, and then... Uh, ooh! Seven red witch. Very cool. She's missing the other half. Oh, of they match! They've got a style. Cool. Prima Guitarina's The Shining Spear. <laughs> wow. Wow. Shining make people Superstar. Up. Shining Superstar. So cool. I think that's all our legendaries. Oh, no, we've got this guy. Oh, yeah. What about the shark? Oh, the shark. Yeah, we've got and to see the, the shark. And the gorilla. Yeah. 
They've just got like a bit of everything in this game, haven't they? What a noble, what a noble hero. Oh, she doesn't get a thing. Oh. He yeah. does. This is the one. Oh. <laughs> Battle Shark. Okay. I think that's it. That's all the all the epic cards what about we've our, got. Our motorbike gorilla. Oh yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, this guy's just the coolest already. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. I love He's him. the best one yet. So good. That might be... That might be it. Yeah, we're getting into, like, quite a lot less rare now. Oh, man. Pretty cool. Very cool. Really, really want to see some of the other decks. Um... So let's try, we've just got sort of different flavors of. Okay. Oh, let's see if we can make shark deck. No, it doesn't look like we can. We're missing a few neutrals and okay. a couple of rares. Um, right. Can't make that deck either, but we don't have enough wolves. Yeah, I guess we need to go and like fight, fight some more people. Yeah. So you can go back and just fight trainers you previously fought and get money and cards and stuff. Yeah. Um. Yeah, these decks require cards we don't even know exist yet. Wow. Never even heard of some of those cards. Yeah. Um, yeah, we can't build our own deck yet. You have to unlock that after doing a few... Um... Yeah, like that comes a bit more further into the story, right? Mm -hmm. So I guess we'll have to stick with what we've got for now. That's cool. Uh, can you... Do you want to change your title on your license card? Um... Seems to be the w wasteland, wasteland survivor. Okay. Uh, how do I do that again? Oh yeah, there it is. Uh, Title. Or bubbly aristocrat. Yes. There we go. Very Perfect. good. Uh, there we go. We are now officially. The bubbly aristocrat. Can't do a change our face yet. Sadly not, but one day. One day we will. And uh, what are the dual quiz? Um, uh, you can have fun dueling here under different conditions. Mm. You'll receive rewards for completion, so try challenging yourself to different problems. Maybe you'll even get a tons of tickets and GP in return if you're feeling quizzical. Do you want to do a... Uh, There's lots of helpful problems. Go with new combos using even more cards. Let's do a quiz. Okay, but there's so many to choose from. Those. Defeat the master of heavy cavalry. Uh, defeat the second curiosity. Defeat the phantom dragon master. Shocking jewel quiz. Come up with new combos using even more cards. Let's try that. Uh, think about activation order. Oh, so these are like puzzles of like, right. here's a board state. How are you going to... How are you going to win? How are you going to win? Wow, you get a thousand gold pieces for it. Wow, you get a thousand gold for each one. Like, how much was a pack? A hundred? A thousand. A thousand. So you basically get a pack for each one of these. Oh, look I... at all these weird <gasps> monsters you fight. Oh, look at that guy. Spike arms and spike head. <laughs> yeah. When is that ever bad? <laughs> Oh shit! I thought this was gonna be like a like a pub quiz. I didn't realize it was gonna be um, like a different game. Oh, mode. go up again! Look at that guy! Wow! Crystal dragon. That's it's like a crystal T Rex. Yeah. Dinosaur versus dragon. Of course we. Let's do that one. All right. Okay. Totally quizzical, man. Totally quizzical. I'm in. Oh, we forgot to read um, Ad Ape's donation. We got distracted. Um, they say, hello lads, due to a busy life and a transitory phase in the campaign, the Sky Tannic is on the back burner. Oh no. But I did get to use Yom and Yen to fool the party by pretending to be tunnel ghosts. Ooh. Well, they tried. 
the party felt pity, so they got free bread. <laughs> oh, God. Those poor boys. <laughs> Are we just a pair of, like, bumbling idiots trying to trick yes. people badly? <laughs> yes, that's us. In IRL and in, in game. At least we got some bread. It's pretty good. Oh, sh look at that. He's just got the multi-strike dragon out straight away. Okay. So, well, I guess we play that. We oh, wait, what does the Mega Zowler do? Who are you and what do you do? He's okay. got 2,000 defense. Wow. Oh, so that's what we do. We do the, the Wasteland to reduce his attack by 300. Which also then boosts our attack. Does it boost our defense as well? Good question. Um, Beast Warrior, Fiend, and Machine type monsters gain 300 attack. No, it doesn't boost defense. It doesn't boost dinosaurs either. Um, oh, so we can play the two little Ds, and then Super King Rex can kill yeah, the dragon. That's how we do it. Yeah. Right? Yeah, you're definitely right. Yeah, two little Ds. Super Yo. King Rex is kind of legit. What does he do? I don't know, but I love him. He just look amazing. Just T-Rex, amazing. Hanging out with the little Ds. Do you think the little Ds like form <gasps> Oh, it's his animation. Oh, yeah. Oh. Wow. wow. Okay, what does he do? Uh, during your main phase, normal special card is summoned. It's in the top deck of your deck to the graveyard. Special. Summon a level six dinosaur or normal monster from your graveyard face up. Oh shit. We could have done this slightly better. We could have summoned could we got Megazower into the graveyard and then brought him back with this guy? Oh, is that what we're supposed to do? We we're supposed to kill him in one turn, right? Yeah. I think that's how you do it. So I guess we we're supposed to sacrifice him. Yes, and then raise him, raise him back. Because this isn't going to be enough. Yeah, we have to start again. Okay. Try it again. You have to win in one turn. Right? Yeah. Okay, we figured it out. Retry! You can still summon it here. Well, I didn't. We did it. Oh yeah, I could have done. Yeah, didn't need to restart. Could have fixed that. Could you? Didn't you need to use... Oh yeah. Could have had a little D. Could have sacrificed a little D again. But didn't you need to use the guy's power? You don't have to spend a card from your hand to use the guy's power. No, no, but you... Um, but you need to use the guy's power to buff the attack on the guy. Oh well, I just yeah. I think I think this will work now. So we get we get the that guy in, and then the little D. You s and we summon the big boy, kill everything else. Okay. Because then shouldn't the Dino kill kill the guy, and then. Because this adds, what, an extra 300 damage or whatever to the thing's attack when it summons it? Yeah, let's use this to summon Megazowler. Megazowler. Attack. He doesn't have an ability, does he? No. No. Okay, so that's... I should do it right? I think. Nice. Yeah, perfect. Good at games. So good at games. Why am I? Very smart. Nice. And you're going to buy uh, one more pack of cards with our new money. Is it then? And hopefully get a new, up. a new good good thing. Might get a cool legendary. <gasps> We've already got quite a few legendaries. 
but you can always have more legendaries. There are always. Or do you want to just look at one of these other challenges and see like that the animation of that new legendary? Because we're guaranteed to see a new legendary if we pick one of these, aren't we? Oh. Like we saw the T-Rex. Oh, okay. Like, do you want to watch uh, that guy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we do have to wrap up, but we'll just do this so we can see the, uh, see the animation. I'm into it. I'm still fighting Luke. What the heck? Okay. Oh god, it's way more complicated than oh, the previous one. Wow. Okay. We'll just, uh, we'll, we'll just deploy this guy. Yeah. Um. So hang on, we need to sacrifice two guys. So we yeah, we drop in the spell archer, and then we drop in uh, the shaman. And then we get this amazing looking guy. And let's see what he does. Lightning Vault Condor. God. This guy's no. keen. <laughs> oh my god, look at his laser cannons! <laughs> his giant guns. Wow, love it. Um, okay. Wow. Uh, pal, so um, we've, we've got to wrap this up. Um, but uh, you uh, you guys can check this game out yourself. You can. Thank you to Konami for sponsoring the stream. I've had a lot of fun. Yeah, please follow the link um, in chat. Hopefully it will be uh, appearing there. Mm -hmm. um, there is a link, you can check it out. It's on Switch. The game is on Switch. Um, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Rush Duel, it's honestly, I'm, I'm really impressed. I've had a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. It's very cool. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed the stream. Yeah. Um, Bonus Tom and Ben. Bonus Tom and Ben for you all. Who'd have thought? Um, oh, Moochie the Cat. Thank you for the bits as well. Thank you. You have thousands of hit points in this game. You're right, you do. You 8,000. Literally thousands. Yeah, thank you so much to everyone. Uh, thank you to Konami. Uh, please do go check out the link and just mm -hmm. have a look at the game. Yeah. Um, it's a lot of fun. Um, we will catch you guys next time. We will. We'll be back next week for more Warhammer on Wednesday. We'll see you soon. Goodbye.